everybody. Welcome back to another Nerd Theory. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Great start to your Monday. Joining me again is our boy Josh, the one and only from the Den of Nerds. Oh, Thanks hey. Weekend, man. What's up? Oh, no. Weekend was good, bro. I had some family in town, uh, so I chilled a little bit more than I usually do and just kind of hung out with them. And uh, Nice. Yeah, it was relaxing. It was a relaxing weekend. What about you? That's cool. Um, nothing, man. Just the same old. Just worked. Just chilled. You know. chilled and uh avoided yeah. kenobi spoilers like the plague you're like, like the plague man you're I'm, like neo yeah you just I'm hold up your hand like... and yeah, yeah yeah you're dodging you're like stopping them like it's crazy like i can't believe it but you know what good for you man yeah i want to go in fresh but i do see i do see the comments online on like instagram like just random posts here or there and like the general discourse and like other people being like why is everyone judging Kenobi before it comes out? Blah blah. blah mm -hmm. Which is like, yeah, okay, true, fair enough. But also, you know, I, I if you guys read some leaks that are really bad, I mean, I wouldn't be too happy either. But um, I'm staying. I just want to see it fresh. I don't want to go in with any sort of expectations of anything. So I want to stay away from leaks as much as I can. We're we're only like a what? How many? We are a week and three days, I believe. Week so it'll be next Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Next Thursday night or morning, Friday, depending on how you look yeah, at so, it. So so ten days. We're ten days yeah, out. Ten days out. Ten days out. And uh yeah, so I'll say like it is it is a little it is a little sad to see that the energy has sort of shifted for a lot of folks because of the leak uh that did come out. And uh I think for me, like I'm definitely down on the leak. Like I'm not uh, pumped about it as I've made, you know, pretty clear. I've made like two videos at this point about it, but at the same time, um, I'm excited for the show. I'm excited to see Vader and Kenobi do their thing. And I will also just say that we just, you know, and I know folks like get super triggered by this, but you do need to watch it. You do need to see how it's executed because a leak is to me is never the same thing as, as, in the show like for instance like does it feel earned does it feel natural does it feel like all the character arcs for the important characters are all taken good care of right so there could be some things that i don't like that brushed up against canon in a harsh way let's say but if the majority of the show is dope and the characters are treated well i think i'll still walk away really really liking it i can't speak for the wider star wars audience so like to me sometimes uh like my point with like my coverage about the leak is been more to bring to sort of bring up the fact that I think it will probably cause a another rift in the fandom with a show that shouldn't have done that and should have just united everybody and been very careful to do so. Um, and so that's kind of more the point that I was trying to bring up. But like we just gotta we just gotta watch it. You know what I mean? You gotta see it. Well, and that's my mindset. Is that I want to stay as far away from leaks as i can so that you like like knowing that kenobi and vader fight like okay whatever but like anything that has to do with the ending or the plot of like details i i just want to stay away from like I just, yes i don't, I don't want to know the details of those things um mm -hmm. i think it's important to go in with an open mind as much as you can and kind of just i i think i'm like this for this one because this show is more important to me than the sequel trilogy it's mm -hmm. more important to me than anything else in Star Wars that they can ever make. Yeah. Because it it alters Revenge of the Sith and it alters A New Hope. And it's, you know, has to do with my, what we're we getting, going in for a kiss there? We're coming in close, dude. Sure. Um, wow, wow. Yeah, and it, you know, it's going to be changing Anakin. It's going to you know, show Anakin and Obi-Wan. And so I, I, I'm i very hopeful that it's going to make the, you know, the, the little me inside happy. Um the young me but uh we will see yeah we will see maybe i will be you know at the forefront of that <laughs> outrage um yeah. maybe i will be able to understand it and be like oh no this is not so bad whatever it is let's go through it let's see what happens yeah we and we'll go through it together i mean that's part of the joy of you know fandom in the modern era is kind of no matter what you'll get yeah. to go through it with a ton of different people and know what people think and you could be an outlier and you know, like Multiverse of Madness, for instance, is a movie that I love, but it is a controversial MCU movie. Um, Still haven't seen it. Yeah, I mean, it's so it's it's doing well at the box office, but maybe not as well as you would expect for this kind of level of Marvel movie. Um, and I think some of that has to do with it being controversial. So it's kind of like one of those moments for me where I personally love something so much, but I can also like 
recognize that a lot of other folks feel differently about it. Um, and maybe that would happen with Kenobi. Maybe that won't. But I will also say without going into any leaks that there were some things that came out today talking about episode one. And all I will say to oh, chat, really? Yeah, yeah. And all I will say to chat and to you is that it sounds like they are coming after it. So I know some people were worried about maybe some Boba issues, especially with them putting those first two episodes together, because it's like, why would they do that? Right. And like, is like one going to just drag out on Tatooine? You know what I mean? And he's just like hanging out. So from what it seems like, like, nah, man, they're going right at it. Tons of fun stuff. And uh, that's really cool. So I'm, I'm hyped up to see that. I bet you the second episode is going to end with Vader being put together like we saw him in the... Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's what I wanted, man. I really wanted something like that. Like, ever, like, ever since I saw that in the Dark Horse comics, I went and tried to, like, make a fan version of that in my fan film. And then I just wanted that in canon so bad to be able to yeah. see that. And we got the back-to-tank scene in Rogue One and all that, but that wasn't nearly, like, you know, close to... Enough. No, man. Him being put together and, like, if we actually go deep, bless you, into the, like... Mm-hmm into the ruminations of what he's really i don't want to say meditate because he's a sith but you know drawing his emotions on at that moment um just like he did in the comics where he was actually he went into a bit of a dream sequence where Mm -hmm. he was in so much pain and he was screaming and then all of a sudden it was him as anakin with padme and their child on naboo or in Coruscant. yeah so seeing something like that like imagine seeing you know like a young hayden and natalie portman you know and it's and their kid together in some dream sequence and then he wakes up and it's just like dude that would create such a cool stark contrast of who vader is now who he could have been and who he once was right especially well especially if he wakes up and goes right into being like these arms like jammed into him dude and like just the whole thing is like harsh and brutal and yeah so like that's what i mean it's like i think that no matter what uh you know uh you know canon issues or not there's so much for star wars fans i think to feast on with this show and like i'm trying to do my best to be very excited and optimistic about it still because you're right like little moments like that or even like kenobi and luke or you know even the inquisitors i like the inquisitors i want to see the grand inquisitor like what's he like you know what's going on like all that sort of stuff the the or the uh imperial base from fallen order which we're going to get into some cal kestis stuff but i mean all that stuff seems awesome so i think there's I think there's a lot to be excited and hopeful for as a Star Wars fan. And the only thing we could do is just watch it all together and, uh, you know, just kind of see how it all hits us in the end. But this is a big deal. You know what I mean? It's a big deal for Star Wars. You know, it's funny. I almost wish that leak didn't happen. You know what I mean? Because, like, you know, there had been a lot of leaks. Oh, everyone kinda... was hyped before that, man. Right. Well, there had been a lot of leaks kind of leading up to that. And then... um you know, making Star Wars just goes hard and just goes with the full ass ending thing. And uh, I feel like especially if it works better in context uh, in, you know, the the show, then it's going to be one of these situations where we're like, man, like maybe that shouldn't have been out there. You know what I mean? For people to kind of create these presuppositions before we even see it. Well, uh, I guess we'll see what happens. It'll either be exactly, you know, what people have been led to believe with these leaks, or it'll be, um, it'll be awesome. Yep. Who knows? I've thought of what? all kinds of headcanony ways that they could make it better in the what? actual show. What so, your, you know what I mean? What's your shirt? Is it just the logo? Oh, it's a Vader, but it's like, it's kind of like a heavy metal kind oh, of Oh, how thing. cool, man. Yeah, 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 oh, that's yeah. That's nice. That's neat. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Um. Everybody in the chat, if you want to pick up an order, a red order sixty six hat, I've pinned it in the um, in the chat right now. We're gonna have our model display it for you. Savannah's displaying the order sixty six hat right there. If you want to grab one, go ahead right now before Kenobi comes out, because then you guys can wear it in the live streams with me. Duh. Watch parties. Uh, Chosen one says already finished watching your Vader comic videos. Feels like I'm watching Vader movie. Love it so much. No, oh, thanks, man. Well, yeah, that was kind of the point. Just uh, pretty much put together years worth of uh, the Vader comics. So, oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, a while ago. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And people love that stuff. So I might even do it with the second issue. I haven't finished the second issue of the Vader comics uh, or the, the new issues because they've just got, they just went kind of, I got disinterested a little bit. The story mm. went a little bit strange. They're filling in the gap between five and six. Mm, and so it got okay. a little bit weird for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some things they were doing, I was like, "What?" 
Yeah, yeah, like, it's funny. And, you I know, like, like you know, maybe we can sort of kind of take off from that area a little bit because I think one of the problems, you know, you just kind of touched on it with the comics, and I think a lot of folks might feel, you know, a little weird about some things that Kenobi does. Like, do, don't we uh, or shouldn't Star Wars? kind of get past these visiting these other areas and like doing this kind of stuff like what what's your take on that because i'm kind of of the mind that um something different or going way ahead or you know way back could work too but like i really kind of feel like they need to get away from these pre-established characters well, you, and stories before we get on today's topic which is actually anakin knowing calcastus in uh in, in canon well i'll i'll talk to you about it um did you see the thing about Kevin Feige and Star Wars? Yes, I did. So, so they're they're talking about it's not going to be having to do with the Skywalkers. Yes, and I'm excited for that, and that's partially why is that like I think going away from these things that are considered so sacred will probably remove a lot of uh, issues that I think people have. Now, there's another side of it, of course, is that you've got to nail it enough that it still feels like Star Wars, right? So it has to feel like Star Wars. Um, but yeah, like I, that's part of the reason why I wanted to bring it up because I'm curious, like, what do you think about that? Because I, I feel like Soros needs to take that leap. Like, I don't know how much we can keep going back to these gaps, um, well, you know, and filling that stuff out. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty excited for the fact that they're going to be going outside of that realm, outside of the timeline. But also, you know, there's still a lot to tell within these gaps, too. Um, you know, obviously, till the cows come home, they can really milk this. Yeah, but that's what it feels like is that they're milking it. And I don't necessarily like that. Like I want um I would like, you know, an organic, well thought out story. And it seems like like I guess like it's a really weird situation because if you do revisit these shows, it almost inherently well, depending on the, the characters or whatever, but let's take Kenobi, right? Kenobi even doing a Kenobi Invader show. Mm -hmm. it if you want to make that show kind of dope and exciting to watch you almost like are forced to break the expectations or the the notions that we had about canon so it's almost like you need why to well because we didn't think that ta he even left tattooing and we didn't think that they yeah. had any fights uh in that sense you know, yes. before that yeah yeah that's what i mean it's like so you're already asking people to um kind of accept that there was something going on there that you didn't know about or whatever right but so, imagine imagine they would make the kenobi show and <laughs> we wouldn't just never leaves tatooine that'd be so boring it would Especially be so after boring. boba i'd be like this is like you guys suck what are you doing yeah 100 percent. so, so I'm, my yeah, in that sense ahead. i'm glad they did but also in, the, in another sense you know it does go against canon he's supposed to sit his ass on tatooine and literally do nothing Yes, I almost said something. I almost, I almost just went to Leakville or something. But anyway, like, like I guess my question is like, if we should we ex as fans be more accepting of these changes because it's sort of par for the course for telling stories in these gaps, or should they only tell stories that are in the gaps with characters that aren't so set in stone or integral it's almost like dude I, i've been like thinking a lot about this right it feels like star wars has a star wars problem where it's like inherent to the nostalgia and the feel of star wars these old movies like why is star wars even what it is it's because george made these crazy movies long time ago right now you know at this point and uh they just resonated with so many people that generations shared them right and then of course the prequels uh to some people totally destroyed it and turned it off to other people's it enriched it and created a new connection to it um but it all kind of begins with these really like new like for all intents and purposes new characters new adventures new ways of doing movies and it's like how does star wars continue that tradition continue the spirit of what george was trying to do and move forward while you know also trying to adhere to those older you know nostalgic feelings it feels like a really difficult task because as excited as i am for kenobi uh we know how it's more or less going to end up you know and as excited as i am for andor there's only so much they can do with the established characters that they might want to put in there as 
cameos or as fun fan service. So it's like, I don't know. You know, you know, I've been trying to like think of what they should do to sort of reinvigorate the brand uh, and, and get people to, to really, really be excited, um, you know, about Star Wars uh, moving forward without kind of pulling that nostalgia card. You know what I mean? Yeah, the nostalgic nostalgia card is very easy to do and it obviously will get you, you know, hits and clicks and all that. But also, I think it's important to tell the story, of course, rather than just uh, worry about fan service. Um, fan service has its place for sure. And when used effectively, I think, and in the right moment after a buildup, you know, um, when people are kind of when it gets to the point where people are kind of like, hey, where's the fan service? I'm kind of now I, I want it now. And you don't give it to them. And then finally you do in the right moment. And then that's when I think it really pays off. But I think if you just do it cheaply, that's it's lame. So I hope when these new writers are writing, you know, these shows that are within the timeline that George created uh, for the Skywalker um, saga, it's imperative that we develop these characters on the same trajectory that George wrote them. I think otherwise it's just going to be people coming up with new renditions of these characters of who they think they are and this and that, but that's, you know, you, in a sense, you don't have to follow legends, but you sort of have to do because mm. he did sign off on a fair amount of stuff that was legends. So it's like, what was Kenobi doing during this period in time? He was literally watching Luke every single day. He never left. Now, I'm happy that he's leaving in the Kenobi show. Don't get me wrong, because I'm here for some excitement. And I don't want another show of him just sitting on Tatooine like Boba did. But at the same time, you also, you also got to wonder, like, okay, what in this show could go wrong? And what could change, not just the show itself, but these characters and their overall trajectory that George had created? And I think that's why Star Wars is so difficult, because he shot this arrow going here, but then you have some people writing it and now it's like going this way or it's going like that way or, you know, it's got to continue on this curve. And that's really hard to do, I think, unless you understand sort of, you know, uh, the lore behind everything and do your Star Wars homework and know these characters inside and out as to the best of your ability. Um, and I mean, I'm sure these guys have access to George. Like, like, what does George think of the Kenobi show? You know, what, like, has he talked to Hayden and Ewan? Has he... He's been like, hey, guys, so you guess you're back on, you know, Star I mean, Wars we, now. And, dude, we have no idea. I mean, at this point, it's safe to assume that he's very much been um, silent. Well, yeah, I mean, unless they were to make an announcement, I mean, by them, I mean, either George or Disney. Like, it feels like the relationship is pretty fractured. I mean, he obviously still comes around sometimes. He came around to see Baby Yoda and, you know, right. like he likes doing all that kind of stuff, but he doesn't go to premieres. He's not vocally supporting any of this stuff. Well, so Dave did say that he does talk to George about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. He does call him up. So I would imagine that he would have called George regarding the Kenobi show as well. I mean, this is a show that is arguably more important than the sequel trilogy. You know, yeah. The chosen one, Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi and little baby Luke. Yes. You know, the only sort of problem with that is that although Dave did get promoted like last year or whatever, or maybe even the year before it would seem, most of the production with Kenobi happened before he got that position. And so I'm just like, he is a producer, like he's a listed oh, producer. Sure he can go in there and change stuff around. No. But does he, does it, st do you think Dave would be the guy to step in and stop? Deborah and whoever this dude is that's writing it and like like do that because yeah. like you do yeah hmm so i just don't get that vibe from him to I be think, honest with you i i think he would i think he would see something and it would be but he was there for, be like he was there for the last jedi he was literally like on set and stuff so like he didn't yeah but i don't think he had the same powers that he does now right no no he did not but like he didn't that's what i'm saying is like i think like, that ryan had everything you know Mm -hmm. yeah no they I mean they gave him writer they his production company like he had full control but like my point is that i just don't know that dave before he gets that position because you know this the, kenobi was already like it had been through rewrites it had been through all these different things it was already like they had this writer they had these scripts they had everything set up before dave gets his well, promotion i'll, I'll, I'll so say dave, this and i yeah. and I, I don't like 
saying these things because they're, they're so like you never can nobody watching can know the validity of it but i know someone who was on the set uh of kenobi and they said john and dave were both there for some very important scenes and they were watching it like a hawk hmm i mean i'm trying to think in my mind of what scenes they could be talking about because i don't think they were watching like a hawk from what i've read but uh yeah i um i i guess maybe i'm even like looking for excuses as to why um if the show ends up where i think it will uh why nobody stepped in you know what i mean uh to to sort of correct that i kind of so wish it, i could like read the leaks in full with you and then just you know have uh will smith come by and just be like you know do the flashy thing and uh, yeah. just forget or maybe you know slap me really hard and I'll, maybe i'll forget no 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 i think uh i guess what i'm saying is this without talking about anything specifically it feels like the writer and a lot of these writers that that like do star wars or work on a major ip these days it feels like they were trying to do something that maybe they didn't think star wars had done before and that was like write this like kind of really um, i don't want to say deep because i don't even think it's deep but the narrative structure is like complicated and it all has to do with reva and sort of using her as a character to show these different aspects of the relationship between obi-wan and vader and the thing that's weird to me is like in a lot of ways that could absolutely work and as a writer myself i understand that device in a script or a story and it can be powerful it can be good but i also like don't understand why it was used here i don't understand why somebody didn't just say like why wouldn't we just use these two characters to tell that story right it's almost like the writers and the writers um their idea was so focused on doing what they thought would be an interesting story that what mattered or what's important to star wars fans wasn't paramount it was more important that they just did what in their mind as a creator would work narratively um and it's like man uh, um okay you know but um in the words yeah. of snoke we shall see <laughs> yeah yeah i guess we we shall i, I guess my sort of the point i, I want to be excited is, dude i want to be pumped yeah, you know? and I, yeah. I want to be excited i want to be pumped i want to go into this being like this like i get to see my heroes from when i was a kid come back on screen come back into star wars like hayden christensen was huge for me man you know um and ewan mcgregor these were two just like everyone watching you know like for a lot of us these characters were like superman like these, these Anakin and Obi-Wan like so this, this was like the dynamic duo this was you know and uh, Darth Vader of course even cooler so for me I am just excited to see them again and whatever will come of their story I will decide that I will obviously see that with everyone um live but for right now that's why I don't want to read the leaks is I just want to be like excited I just want to be happy you know I just want to yeah. be I just Simply, yeah, I, I, if, mm -hmm. if I'm going to if it's going to suck and I'm going to be destroyed over it, then at least let me have these few weeks where I can just, you know, uh, mm -hmm. be in ignorance. Oh, no, I totally and get be it. Happy I, and uh, yeah, I, I wasn't trying excited. to necessarily like make it all about. Kenobi. No, I, I know you weren't. I, know you I get I for me, it's like more about like in kind of what we were talking about with Feige Star Wars. It's like, is it time maybe that we get some new stuff going on? Because I think there is a there is a world where like let's just say feige invents a whole new well, they they're going to invent a whole new cast of characters but let's say that like you and i just love it dude almost like the way we love the ronin characters from uh vision right where we're like dude that's awesome i want to yeah, see right. more of that right? Yeah, right so if they create something like that and we're like yo like i want to see that character i want to follow that then we could experience like new stories twists and turns who's going to follow the dark etc cetera, etc cetera, Right. without the, without the baggage of oh man but this is how i remember the toys being on the shelf do you know what i mean yeah no i know and, yeah so like i just i'm i'm hopeful for that as well and i'm just wondering if star wars is going to like realize that perhaps a not necessarily too late but 
it, 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 maybe they'll realize it after having tried something that is just giving them diminishing returns over and over again. Um, and unfortunately, I think maybe hurting the brand overall. Like, it, it, it could go down, and we'll have to see, but it could go down that this regime at Lucasfilm right now and uh, this vision um, was just wildly out of touch with what modern sensibility of fans is you know and uh i'm just i'm just saying that like there's still hope no matter what that uh some newness and some some freshness could create new star wars things and characters and worlds and stories that we would be excited about and i'm like i'm almost looking past everything at this point bro like i'm literally almost looking past everything and or ahsoka all of it I'm I'm like I want new like I want fresh like I need I need something I need no for I mean, me like I, I, I'm just I'm, saying I want Andor I want Ahsoka you know all that I want Ahsoka yeah but um no I feel what you're saying you know I feel like maybe they'll make something really create great and creative with an IP well with uh I, with new characters new IP in that sense of Star Wars that we don't know anything about. Um, so therefore we have nothing to latch on to and feel um, protective of. Yeah. I think that right. would be I think that would be very positive. But this show base. is the most sensitive, I would say, more than the sequels for me. So Yes, yes. I hope people are ready to go and I hope uh, it's gonna be a great show. And if it's not, I mean you best believe I'm gonna be very vocal about it and I'm going to be very pissed off. For sure, yeah. you know. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Hope, let's hope those those tears that were in the Mandalorian season two are going to be happening again this time. But, but good tears, tears. You know? but good, good tears. tears. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Not not uh, me smashing my computer screen live. <laughs> screen like yeah, 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 yeah. We'll you see. Know? We'll see, man. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens. Okay, so before we get to you guys' super chats, um, we want to thank all of you, thirty five hundred of you here in the chat. If you could hit that like button, that would be cool. Um, and of course, I do. Before we get on the topic of the, the title um regardless what happens i don't think any of the actors should receive any sort of hate 100 uh, percent. this is you know they're just doing their job hey if if i don't want to see anyone giving hayden any shit ever again i don't want to see anyone giving you and um uh reva um moses ingram moses uh don't know anything about her but she's just doing her job right so uh, and and the and like what she's Grand supposed Inquisitor. to do, not sign up like, to do Star Wars. Like, come on, man! Like, like, dude, like what? No, literally, you're, you're, you're an actor. Yeah. Like, you get if a some, to be. Yeah, yeah she's no. the last person people should be upset about if they're upset about things. I I can hate on the character that was written, mm-hmm. but not the actor. 100%. So that's just something I want to get across. Um, they're all people at the end of the day, and they're just you know um, doing their jobs. So especially Hayden, you know, he he received a lot of shit in the prequels tonight. Um, I want to now that I have a voice here on it, at least uh, publicly, I want to be able to defend that. So today's topic is about Anakin knowing Cal Kestis and how this could tie into Kenobi. So in the canon novel that just came out called Brotherhood, which I've been reading, I'm halfway through. It's very enjoyable so far. Uh, I'm going to be dropping a free uh, audible link uh, in a few days and you guys can go pick it up for free if you like or um Maybe you've already read it, but anyways, today is going to be going. Today we're going to be going over an excerpt from an early part in the novel where Anakin actually comes face to face with Jaro Tapal, who is uh, Cal Kestis's master. And before this, to my knowledge, we didn't know that Anakin even knew who this Jaro Tapal was. Of course, because this is a new character that was created, you know, in the Disney time. It was in Fallen Order, and I always thought Jaro Tapal was a really cool character that they made. You know, we didn't get to see awesome too much character. of him. Yeah, but his death, you know, brought tears to my eyes, and it was very moving. And it was uh, he was a cool dude. So, um, it's just neat to the fact that he knows who he is. So, anyways, here we go. Is it reading time? Story time? Story time. Yeah, I'm just going to read like a, a little, a little excerpt, a little, All right. a little bit of it. Oh, the short word escaped him an expression as unexpected as what he'd just witnessed. He continued watching Anakin, who took a moment to gather himself before stopping to talk with Jaro Tapal and the red-haired youngling who trailed him. So he's talking to Jaro Tapal and Cal Kestis, man. Pretty sick. 
How wild is that? That's wild. And though they talked longer than he did with the senator, no similar feelings projected from him, not in Anakin's body language, nor in his connection to the force. So I think so, that's pretty cool. Now in canon, you know, Anakin knows who Cal Kestis is, and this is during, you know, just after Attack of the Clones. And um, it kind of puts a little more weight on the battle at the end of Fallen Order. And if we see Cal Kestis in Kenobi. Do you think so, he recognizes Cal then? Oh, yeah, dude. 100%. Hmm. Because he's just young. That's the only thing is like if he's really young when Vader sees him when he's Anakin, I just don't know if he would process it like, you know what I mean? Um, now, he could maybe see like if Anakin knew that that dude's Padawan was still unaccounted for, maybe he could recall back. And this is actually something that I hope to see in um, Kenobi was like when I first watched Star Wars, like before the prequels and stuff, like they kind of made it seem, or maybe it was just my imagination, but it made it seem like Vader betraying the Jedi, a former Jedi. Uh, it was the fact that he was a Jedi that made him like able to know where all these other Jedi were and like destroy them. So I'd love to see like Vader's knowledge of the Jedi having been one uh, come into play when he's like hunting Jedi or, or, you know, trying to exterminate them or whatever. So if something like that were to, to be explained, perhaps even in the, uh, the next Fallen Order game, which is called, I think it's called Jedi Survivor. Something, yeah, that's what. The, yeah, yeah. Another leak. Who knows? It's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that uh, I, you know, that's a pretty reliable dude that that did that. I'm sure that's probably true. But uh, yeah, and that hopefully will come out later this year. So yeah, I would, I'd be down, dude. I'd love if, if of course, would add another element to that meeting at the end of that first. Dude, game. yeah, so dope. Yeah, and you know, potentially add stuff into if Cal's going to be in live action um you know in kenobi or even in other stuff or even just in the games that's an interesting thread to to do in the games for sure yeah definitely that's always something that i wondered when i was playing like does anakin even did anakin ever meet cal he it feels like he should have yeah know, so um but I'm there were sure. ten thousand jedi how many younglings did he because like you know he oh, had seen dude, so many though. dude dude this book goes into so much detail and evolves Anakin's character so much with younglings. I was, I wasn't really laughing, but I was just, I thought it was interesting. And I'm like, they're really building the character between Anakin and the younglings quite hard. Interesting. Like, so like he chapter, like knows about them. And... Dude, no, there's a whole chapter where he's literally training younglings. Oof. And like he is bonding with them, and they're asking him questions about like what it's like to be a Jedi, and, and blah, he's blah, assessing blah. their weaknesses for later. Yeah, and he's just <laughs> like, oh my god, dude! And he's always like dreading it, and then he goes and does it, and then he's like giving them a lesson, and then Mace Windu like walks in and like gives him like a scowling look and walks away, and then it was, dude, it was like that's fun. I'm, it's so funny that they added that in there. Like this is hilarious. It's great. That's I love cool. when I yeah, I love when I love when the books are good. I really enjoy it. Like Dooku Jedi Lost, Master and Prince. The books have been, they've been fire. They've been killing it. Honestly, the books is probably one of the strongest thing Disney has done. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, like, why well, because is there it's... such a discrepancy between the stories and the, like, the movies yeah. and the books? Like, I know, get, it's wild. Get these writers for the movies, please? Like, Dude, 100%. Like... I've kind of always been in that camp. I think it's crazy because, well, I think Hollywood is a big machine, and I think a lot of the, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but it feels like the writers and the, people in star wars are a little bit more egotistical of like their vision being at there right yeah and the writers seem to yeah just like want... ryan right like like yeah taking the thing off the shelf and like and it, yeah and put it back on there that's my star wars yeah and the book writers seem to be just way more interested in writing dope star wars stories with characters they love you well, know what i mean it, like man they they understand like i'm listening to this on audible and I, it literally feels like like i'm closing my eyes and i'm like it's like i'm I can see these characters doing this and saying this, and it just feels. I need like, to check it out. Like I love George's era. Yeah, I need to yeah. check this out. It would actually be a really good detox for yeah. me. Okay. Text to Star Wars Theory to 500, 500, 500. Get your free month. Actually, I already have a bunch of credits. So get another one. But right on. Yeah. Sounds good. I will. Plug. Yo, give me one of those red hats, too. Those things are awesome. Yeah, I got to send you one. Yeah. It looks so good, dude. Yeah. I know I've been saying I was going to send you one for I'll send you one of the July 4th ones. 
Yeah, there we go. I know go. you want one of those. Yeah, you know I love my America. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, chat, anything you want us to talk about before we move on? All right, I'm going to possibly. Let's see what these, let's see what the chat says. I'm actually going to look at it for once. Oh, God. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You never oh, look at chat. Good. Uh, not for when we're doing our thing at the beginning. It really? just distracts oh, that's, me. That's why I'm so like spacey sometimes because like, yeah. Sometimes I'm reading it. I haven't the last few weeks because I just feel like my engagement with you is so much better when I don't. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. It can be, it's super distracting. Oh my God, dude. Because you're like saying one thing and I'm like reading like a bunch of things that just keep new comments that keep coming in or super yep. chats. And then I'm like, I'm like, what? But somebody says, it's a trap. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. What was the book? The book was called Brotherhood. It's It's new. It just came out last week or so. I'm down. I'm down to pick it up. Dude, yeah. I wish I could show you this other Star Wars shirt I got. It is so awesome, bro. It's like half of Vader's helmet, like kind of the length, and then the reflection of the eye, you see Kenobi with like the saber held up. It looks oh, wow. so cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it it's official? At, yeah, it's official. I think it's at uh, Hot Topic right now. Uh, I, think, well, I've seen, I think I've seen that one. Is that kind of dark? Yeah, it's like all dark and white is the like the design is all white. It's it's oh, very man, clean. Yep. Um, a viewer of the channel a few years ago sent this t-shirt, a Star Wars t-shirt with the, the tag still on it. I have never seen that t-shirt in my life. It is so cool. I'm going to go grab it, actually. Nice. Um, maybe you want to read this. Yeah, I got you. And, uh, yeah. OK, let's see here. Hey, y'all, I highly recommend watching the old 2007 History Channel documentary on YouTube called Star Wars, The Legacy Revealed. It covers how history inspired Lucas's a Star Wars film one to six. It is cool. Right on, bro. Maybe I'll check that out. Maybe I'll check that out. Thank you, Bruce. Chat, what's going on? Let's see this. All right, chat. Got to check this out. I still haven't taken the tag off. It's just such a nice shirt. It's just so unique. Oh, my God, dude. Nice. Right? Yeah, I've never seen any shit like that. I've never seen this. That's cool. That's insane. Yeah. Like, I don't even know where he got this, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 1996 Lucasfilm LTD All White Rights Reserved. I was six years old. Rebel Alliance wants you to join the official Star Wars fan club. Send check or money order to P.O. Box. Yeah, bro. This is like before the internet really was a thing. <laughs> when you would still like mail in stuff and get yeah. magazines. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. I Love got a it. shirt for that old pod racing game on Nintendo 64. It was like, this, you... yeah, it was like this white shirt with like the pod racer, like. Right in front of the center was super cool. Is that Humpty Dumpty? No, that's not the Inquisitor. <laughs> yeah, that's not the Inquisitor, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Bruce. He's talking Check about a out. documentary. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, feeling old as hell today, boys. Twenty years of Attack of the Clones movie gets too much hate. Still remembering being nine and seeing it in theaters. Oh, dude, that's right. We didn't talk about that. Twenty years ago, Attack of the Clones. It's wild, huh? Mm -hmm. Wild, man. Yeah, it does make you feel old. Uh, but that's those 20th anniversary things for celebration and stuff are going to be so cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, look, next weekend's a big weekend. Next weekend's a big weekend. Yeah, we're not going to be sleeping. So I'm probably going to... Actually, I think I'm going to start ramping up the content starting now. I'm just kind of hibernating, mm -hmm. taking it easy. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, I think now we're going to start to to ramp it up a little bit to go wild. We, there'll be plenty to talk about after next weekend because you'll have the first two episodes of Kenobi and you'll have a ton of hopefully awesome dope announcements uh, at Celebration and things to get really, really excited for. So, yeah, it should be good times ahead. Good times ahead, chat. It's going to be a busy, uh, busy week. <clears throat> a big shout out to Attack of the Clones, man. I don't think the system works. I hey, theory, Josh, Josh. Peep, Peep the news cosplay. Oh, Jagai. Oh, my God. Oh, Siri, no, Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Yo, that's pretty dope, bro. Did you put this on your tweeter? How come I don't see your posts on Twitter anymore? 
Josh going to be like, your cosplay sucks. No, I will not do that unless it does. No, his cosplay looks dope. When I saw like pictures of him putting it together and stuff, it looked real good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Theory, what do you think of Shivering? Millennium and Spirit Box collab? I, I don't know. I have, I've never heard that collab. I mean, I know Spirit Box, but I don't know about Millennium. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know what that is. Star Wars Theory! That's a lot of exclamation points. What's up, Zuhair? What is your favorite non-Star Wars Marvel movie? What qualities do you look for in a great movie? Currently working out while listening to you. Love you both. Take my money. What's your favorite non-Star Wars movie? Gladiator. Gladiator is a really, really good one. Last Samurai. Yeah, those. that's a brilliant movie. Back to the Future. You know, yeah. so there's a lot. Yep. Uh, I like uh, Kill Bill. I like all those flicks. I like like weird artsy movies, too. Um, like Fellini's Eight and a Half or um, Schenectady, New York. Um, yeah, I, I like all kinds of movies. What qualities do I look for in a great movie? Uh, most important quality to me is like the overall vibe. Like essentially like, you know, you, you watch like a silly, goofy like comedy or like a John Hughes comedy. And it's got like a, a vibe. Like the whole thing feels like it fits. It's creating a vibe. Uh, Star Wars movies usually, hopefully, mostly create just a vibe. You know what I mean? So uh, to me, the biggest important thing is like a vibe and then great character moments. And I'm also a sucker for dialogue. I love good dialogue, man. That's so why like I like Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino movies. Yeah, that's why I like Tarantino so much is like those the dialogue is crazy, bro. So. Yo, what's up? Have you hope you guys are well. Can it be going to be exciting? I hope so, Tyler. Thanks for dropping in, man. Heck yeah, man. It's going to be real chill. What did y'all think about Kendrick's new album? Nine out of 10. I've only listened to a couple of tracks. I haven't listened to the whole thing. Uh, really good so far, any. though. Yeah, I like it so far, though. I haven't listened to any yet. Yeah, I saw that he released a new one, and then I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Greetings, Theory and Meh, formerly Air, previously Ja, Josh, Ja, Osh. Have a great stream today. I love you, 3000. Yeah, even you, Meh. Kenobi, 11 days away. Hell's yeah. Right on, man. Delore, appreciate you. Appreciate all the love. No, you got to give him a name too. Mm. Like Mad Two or something. Yeah, the Meh Delorean. Oh, oh! oh! that's right. You brought that on yourself, Mad Delorean. Now this is pod racing. Yeah, yeah. I've always wondered: Did Uncle Owen know Anakin was Vader? Yes. Did Obi Wan tell him? Probably. Is that why he blames Obi-Wan? Kind of weird since most of the galaxy, galaxy thinks Anakin died of the Purge. Thoughts? Yeah, most of the galaxy, but also most of the galaxy doesn't know that Luke Skywalker is alive mm -hmm. <laughs> and is Anakin's son. So I feel mm -hmm. like Owen needs to know, you know, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know, Owen. Yep. Well, most people, yeah, because like bent next to nobody knew that Vader was Skywalker. It was a closely guarded secret. No, Tarkin assumed. Tarkin's Tarkin. Like he put Thrawn that shit together. Also knew Thrawn Anakin. knew for sure, but he had also had experiences with Anakin. He's also high IQ, so super high IQ, and can like look with the infrared shit too. So, you know, Thrawn's dope. Hey guys, happy twenty years of Attack of the Clones. Eleven days until Kenobi. I can't wait. Hope you guys are doing well this Monday evening. What's up, Nicholas? Hope you're doing well, man. <laughs> if I'm feeling good, I'll do some streaming tonight for COD. I know some of the boys wanted to stream. Um, I've been having a lot of issues lately, man. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just in case yeah, bad you luck. need uh you need some hey Jag I posted on Twitter. Nice. Uh you got to get in a back to tank, bro. I dude, I, I went in the hot tub last night for like 40, 50 minutes and it still didn't do anything. I had a massage the other day for like the first time in five months. I had six months. I'm going to a chiropractor for the first time in my life this week. Oh, nice. Bro, they're going to jack my shit off, dude. A quack doctor, they call him. Yeah, yeah. I've always been skeptical, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I'll let you know. Um, yeah, I'm just getting like just a lot of shooting pains from my hips into my calves, and it's like hard to sleep. And um, It all started last week when we did that four-hour nerd theory stream, and then I did four hours of Call of Duty right after, and I didn't really move much, and I just didn't really go away. You got to like get up and do like some bridges or something in the middle of that just to stretch your shit out. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Not a pain. Yeah. 
Oh, well. No good. I also think Cal is 10 years younger than Anakin. Like, Anakin was 22 when Cal was 12. So, for sure, Cal does know Anakin is Vader. Mm. Does he, though? Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't follow the logic there, Nicholas. I understand what you're saying about the age gap, but how would that make it so he would know Vader? <laughs> Shout out to all the early 30s folks. Oh god. No, it's just because I I yeah, you know, I I do not stretch and I um I'm paying for it now, you know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, all I do is sit in a chair, right? So it's like some surprise I'm not super fat. Keeping it real is always love from North Cal. What's up, John? Love you back, man. Hey, nerds, love the stream. Can't wait for Kenobi. Quick question for you about Ahsoka show. Do you think Boba will be in it? And will Ahsoka take Boba Fett's advice and ride? No, 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 no. God, I hope so. You know could totally fix the Kenobi ending? Is it like Ahsoka's there? Ah, he's too young at that point. Were you, you about to say she's going to make out with Kid Luke? What is this, blank check? <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but yes. You never saw Blank Check? No, I never seen it. Oh, it was one of my favorite movies as a kid, man. Oh, Disney yeah. movie. And now it's getting canceled because the hot girl kisses the eleven year old Preston. Preston can't Waters makes canceled. out with the hottest chick. No, it's can't no. It's Dude, can't. when I was eleven watching that, I was just no. like, Oh my god. Yes, yeah. Well, guess what? That's what's wrong with it. And you're canceled now too. Oh whatever, dude. Yeah, it's over, bro. Why wasn't Luke more upset about the brutal murders of his adoptive parents? He cared more when Obi died after 12 seconds of knowing him. They did not dedicate enough time to showing his pain. Mm. The brutal murders of his adoptive parents. I don't know. I feel like that scene's pretty Bro, emotional. I feel like he didn't give a shit about Uncle Owen and Umbre. He probably never liked them, man. He, he you know, like... <laughs> You have would, such a different answer than me. <laughs> like, would like, would you like Uncle Owen? Like, he, he's just no, like, no. He's a dick. But like, yo, if my prick. aunt and uncle got fried, and I'm looking at their skeletons still smoking. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have an emotional reaction. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, you know yeah. what? That Uncle Owen was a dick. I'm glad you're smoking over there. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Sure. Uh, Sheesh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, that's so true. He just kind of like was looking at them in the wind and looks away and then like looks back. It's, it's like the music yeah, swells. I go to Alderaan with you. There's nothing like... for me here. Do you see these guys? They're smoke. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. All right. No, I'm warned enough. It kind of reminds me of like, my whole life in Deadpool. Where he's where uh have you seen the first Deadpool? Yeah. There's like a moment where the dude says, There's a mysterious guy over there looking for you. I don't know, it might advance the plot. And it kind of reminds <laughs> me of some shit like that, you know? <laughs> oh, so you think we'll see Deadpool in uh, uh whatever wars? Yeah, yeah. He was supposed to be in Multiverse of Madness. There's like, dude, all the things that people thought were gonna be in the movie. Now there's all these reports coming out that like, yeah, they were planned, like some of them were even shot, like so they were gonna do a Deadpool. Uh, they were gonna do Deadpool, and they just they didn't do it. Why? That's stupid. I have no idea, bro. Like the most popular character. Yeah, he's really well. Yeah, he's definitely popular, and it would have had a big pop for sure. But I think honestly, part of it is because they're still changing their kind of big plan, and maybe they didn't want to like introduce him in a way that would kind of put them in a box from a writing standpoint. Um, but uh yeah, it would have been super fun. I think we'll see him regardless. They're working on Deadpool uh three, so like writing it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, big one. Thank you, Shane. Yeah. In Revenge of the Sith, when Yoda versus Sidious fight happened, as Yoda was retreating into the hole, if you look closely enough, you can see him you can see his lightsaber on his side. That explains why Luke would have his lightsaber in Boba. Means he had two. What do you think of that? Uh, so I made a video on this, and you actually do see his lightsaber uh, on his belt when he's um, 
when he when he jumps into the ship. Hmm. So you think he had two then, or was the Moss no. Media comic book thing just not real? No, I think the Moss Media comic thing is just retconned. Yeah. Fair. Easy. Easy. The comic don't count. No, they don't count. I don't think. I I don't think the writers really look at that stuff. You know, I think they just kind of like go with story, which with movies, and I think that's the best way to go. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah, makes yeah. the comics kind of pointless, but. They're fun, whatever. Yeah, that's true. That's like saying Star Wars fan fiction is pointless. It's like, well, no, now you're actually getting the official Star Wars making, you know, whatever comics. Yeah, that are fair. like fan fictions, but you know, yo, brother, theory, brother, Josh. It's been a while. Sorry, I've been busy. My question is, who would win in a duel? By the way, between Cal and Ezra, I think Cal. Cal would hmm. destroy Ezra, dude. I don't know. I mean, Cal is proven to be very capable in the games, but at no point does he feel like he's like an anomaly of a force user. Dude, and I he's think it, freezing guys with the force. Well, yeah, he touches objects and sees where they were. Like he's such a more no. Capable. That true. That part is true. He has that ability, but I. But Ezra is like able to open up the temple to the world between worlds on his own. Ezra can uh, open up uh, Sith holocrons. Ezra does one of the dopest things i've ever seen where he can take possession of the people driving an at at and has it walk off the platform like that shit was awesome so i think ezra's really powerful with the force but probably not as well trained as cal like cal was really well trained um yeah that's true so well, i don't know trained at the temple right so yeah exactly so it'd be a good fight hmm i think cal would kick his ass chat what do you think i think ezra's kind of Yeah, weak. <laughs> yeah, that's just my boy, bro. Yeah, well, sorry. Hundred percent confirmed. The boys were late. I have been happy. I have been so happy seeing you and and Hayne getting the love they deserve and realizing how much we love the freak. Yes, yes. I've really yes. enjoyed seeing that this last week. Yep, I've been loving it as well. It's like a really great part of the whole experience, getting ready for the show. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to see those guys do their thing, man. Okay, I'm doing a poll. Poll time. Who wins? Cal. Yeah, That's who? Community. Who? I say Cal. I say Ezra. The leaks will be fine if the story is done well. Yeah, I think that is absolutely fair to say. Um, you know, you I, I can see a number of different ways that I either accept the leaks or am not bothered by them. I can't really see a scenario in which I like them doing what they might be doing, but there's a couple of different ways it could go where I'd be like, okay, no, that makes sense. Or like, all right, like this show is amazing. And like, sure, that part's a little like, oh, it's a little much, but it doesn't kill it for oh, me. Yeah, so sure. yeah, we'll just have to see, man. <sighs> uh, chat before we move on, what do you think? Beard or shave? Keep it growing. Keep it growing. Or shave Keep it. it growing. Where's that poll at? I can't really see it in just the streamlabs. Well, who's winning? Uh, Cal. 62%. 62% Sixty of liars. Sorry. I know Daddy Josh and other fellow Feige shills were pleased in the news the other day. Soon Emperor Feige will have Star Wars in his back pocket too. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. Look, I'll say this. If he makes just like one of the best Star Wars movies ever then you have to say he's the best producer of all time. Like, you know, it's absurd what he's accomplished with Marvel. And yet if he goes over there and literally makes just an incredible star Wars film, then I mean, like what, what else can you say? Like he's literally the greatest producer of all time. So we'll see, man. I'm, I'm excited to check it out. We shall see. Doing another poll this time. So my beard, because I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it. Oh, the first poll doesn't count. You didn't leave it up far enough, so Ezra wins. <laughs> uh, no. No. Peace. Yo, Venger. As Kumail That's... Nanjiani's role has, hasn't been revealed, there's a photo of him wearing Tatooine clothing. Would he be playing adult Kitster, Anakin's friend? You guys rock. The show's fantastic. I don't think so. I think he's playing a Jedi that's on Tatooine. I don't think he's on Tatooine at all. Um, and 
he may or may not be a Jedi or involved with some Jedi things. Jesus, that? 81% say beard theory? God damn it. Yeah, there you go. Now it's beard theory. <laughs> now we beard theory up in here. Really hope KF Star Wars, uh, Kevin Feige, is set in Old Republic. That way they don't step on canon toes and have freedom to create new. Order 66 hat is on the way soon. Thank you both. Hey, awesome, Darth Shima. Yeah, that's uh, sick, dude. I hope you'll grab that um, July 4th Order 66 version as well. I don't want it to be Old Republic, though, to be honest. I want it no. to be, like, either far in the future or way, like, to the side. Do you know what I mean? Like, because, like, I don't want... I just want new, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so craving new. Like, I need new Star Wars. I need I need Star Wars to prove it can even do new Star Wars. You know what I mean? Because I don't even know if it can. You know? I just want Star Wars to be good Star Wars. You know? Give me, yeah. give me whatever. There was more yeah. evidence pointing to the leak being true than not. Their media run was all the evidence I needed. Theory is going to cry again, but this time it won't be tears of joy. Sorry, Theory. No! I tell you... I tell you, it's it is odd that they have Moses Ingram just with those two gentlemen in a lot of the press. Do you know what I mean? And I find and from, it odd too, man. Yeah, it just feels odd. Um, because I just think even if she is a major character in the show, she's hundred percent a new character, and they're damn sure not allowed to talk about the character at all. So I and, think and even, nobody knows this character. That's what I'm saying. It's so weird. It's like legends, why is she there? Like I, I think in coming any, back, like it was 20 years. Right, right. If anything, her being there for all the press is them saying this character is really, really important. Even before the show comes out. It's so weird, dude. Like, I don't know. It's yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, good for her, like career wise, but also like as a fan, like I, I don't really care about that. I'm here for, to be a fan. Like, I don't mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a good get, but also feels like they're kind of it just i don't know i it seems like another confusing move it's a, it's a it's a strange move for her it's too aggressive hey guys question i know that mace did it in 2d clone wars but why didn't any of the other jedi in the current canon just crush grievous like luke did to the dark trooper he's just a droid at the end of the day probably weren't powerful enough yeah they probably also, weren't powerful enough it's probably too like like a too op move you know like yeah. plot, plot wise, like okay, let me just walk up to this dude that's been oppressing the galaxy for <laughs> that's whatever uh, with the Clone Wars and like ruling the the droids and leader of the Separatists. Let me just walk up to him and go, okay, well, we win. Yeah, and plus, like at this point, he's so like to be really honest with you, like he's so mechanical that I think even shutting off his heart is a weird way to kill him because why can't he just like have a mechanical heart or? mechanically put oxygen into his mind or something you know what i mean like it's just i don't even know if that's really the way to kill him you know what i mean it looked cool but um well we can say after what happened with mace windu he like upgraded his shit yeah mm -hmm. and now he's impervious to you know getting his yeah he's ready his chest blocked. he's ready he ready Josh, I think your last video about the leaks was great, and now I see your point of view. I hope the leak isn't true now, but either way, it was uh, hype for Hayden's return. Yeah, so in the second video, if you guys are interested, I tried to really explain thoroughly my hopes for the show still, but also really went into detail about why I think it's going to piss so many people off and potentially break canon. Uh, so if you really want, like, if you don't, if you don't get why so many people are upset, perhaps watch that video because I go into it. There's a very interesting thread on Reddit and I sort of cherry picked a bunch of really interesting takes that people had on it. Uh, and then I sort of gave my thoughts on these different takes. And so it's other Star Wars fans thoughts and also my thoughts. But I think it does a really good job of explaining why this just feels so wrong, you know, at face value. So got to check it out. We shall see. Mm -hmm. We shall see. I saw somebody say, like, get back on your uh, get back on your fence. Uh, this is me on my fence. I'm doing the best I can, dude, as far as trying to be uh, optimistic about it. So when we do 2D Clone Wars part two, 2D Clone Wars part two. 
Oh, the watch party? Oh, yeah. Dude, I suck, man. Hmm? I suck. I haven't done any, like, watch parties or any um, gaming You're streams. hibernating. You're saving your energy for Kenobi. I think so. It's usually what I do before a big show comes yeah. out because I know I'm not going to be sleeping. It's all good. For, like, six weeks. Yeah. Only a week out, general theory, from Kenobi. I'm so hyped. I'm staying positive and away from spoilers. Looking forward to watch parties. Hayden and Ewan return. Stay awesome. Thank you, Charlie. Thanks for dropping yeah. in. Yeah. Charlie's been there since day one, I gotta say. Back from Cabo and can watch. What up? Yo, what, what up, bro? Good fun, dude. How's Cabo? Yeah, Cabo. Sounds fun. Sounds nice. Sounds real nice. Do you think lightsabers felt heavier when they were activated, or do they constantly remain the same weight? What do you think about that? I think they're heavier, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think if you're not attuned to it, I think it's heavy. And I think that if you're more attuned to the particular crystal, then it can get much lighter and like you can connect with it, kind of like Sabine did well, with the dark saber. It'd be impossible to really wield it around properly. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I mean, like twirl it and stuff if there wasn't weight at the end. Yeah. Truly. <sighs> My friend. No way. It might be a trap. Okay. Yeah, Luke. Sorry, bro. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. That's a cool dragon on your profile picture, though. Or if it's a wolf, maybe that's cool, too, I guess. Smash that like, my fellow beholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Beard looking good, Theory. Go past the awkward growing stage. Hope y'all had a great week. Looking forward to a great night with Nerd Theory. Can't wait for the two hour plus watch party opening night. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be wild. And yeah, dude, I hate night. that. I hate that. Um, the awkward phase of the beard. Yeah, the awkward phase can be. I feel like I'm just sure. just about to pass that. Dude, the other it was like two weeks ago. I was feeling super lazy, and so I wasn't trimming like the bottom part of my beard, and I had the total neck beard thing going on, like uh, all the way down here, and that was a pain in the butt to uh to get rid of. But I was like, dude, I don't even care. Like, just let this shit go, you know. Dude, a neck beard is like a sign of it's like wearing a patch of I will school you in any sort of nerdy genre shit. I yeah. will and I yeah. have a very high IQ. Yeah, when actually it comes when, to that stuff. when you go to a Magic the Gathering tournament, that usually uh, a neck beard will get you like a, a, a buy in the tournament or whatever. Yeah, you gotta watch like, out for those neck beard guys. If you're going up against it, a dude who's like a Star Wars fan, he's got a neck beard, yeah. just know this is your one of your boys. This is yeah, he's an OG. Yeah, it's like dodgeball. You know how you'd pick people in dodgeball? Yeah. If you were picking for trivia, you pick the neckbeards first. I picked the neckbeard guy. Yeah, like yeah. those are the jacked dudes that play dodgeball. It's like yeah. neckbeards are that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those are the guys. What did Yoda age? And and they got to be like overweight too. Because if they're mm -hmm. like skinny or whatever, it just, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't hit the same. Unless they're super skinny, like weirdly skinny. If they're super skinny, then yeah, then you then know, it's like, like okay, this dude's not even eating. He's just yeah, like reading exactly. the books, or the guy's overweight because he's just reading the books and like munching on like snacks. Ex so. Yeah, exactly. it goes both ways. Yeah. Yep, so for me, yep. I was like super skinny. Like in, like when I graduated high school, I was like 120 pounds, mm. like 150, 120 pounds. So I feel like yep. that that's my in there. Yep. Were you a neckbeard guy? Uh, or no. Were you, a, were you a cool guy? uh i don't know i was kind of like cool guy but also very very nerdy so okay. like i was i would literally like go play and trade pokemon like at lunch with like the nerd dudes or whatever yeah but i was also like you know football player like you know big guy and like i guess i was a little popular uh but uh i was always really you were popular yeah i was popular i was homecoming king i was popular dude shut the fuck no, you were not. Yeah, what? Was, dude, yeah. Shut the hell up. Dude. I was popular, but but I was what? always but I was always hella nerdy, hella dude, nerdy, bro. What? Mm -hmm. You were that dude. You were. The I was kind of that dude. Yeah, but what I was always you? super nerdy and super chill. I was super chill. I was not a mean whatever. You know what so I mean? You played on both sides of the fence. I've been. You might say I've been fence sitting. My whole life. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways. My whole life. Uh, why did Yoda age so much between Revenge of the Revenge of the Sith and Rith? What is Rith? Return of the Jedi. Mm, I don't know. Okay. You guys I don't, 
You mean like, oh, you mean like when he's like dying at the end? I'm confused. (laughs) Okay, so (laughs) I'm going to say, I think what he's saying is like, Yoda didn't look like he was at death's doorstep in Empire, but then Luke goes back to him in Jedi and he's like literally dead. Like he's about to die. And I don't know. I think you fall off. When you get old, old, like it just happens fast. Like I think it just, your body just deteriorates. Josh, chat wants to see a photo of you as homecoming. Uh, bro, I don't know you if have I got one? any of that. I'd have you to go. You have one. You got it with the crown. You got it with the crown. I'd have to look. Here's you the thing. Gotta post that. It's so. I'm so old, that it would have to be a physical photograph. And I'd have yeah. to. I, I do have a bunch of them, but I don't know if I've got that exact one. You I could find. I could sign some pictures of old. Take a photo of it and tweet it. And the people right. are gonna making that their like. Their profile picture on YouTube and stuff well that just sounds <laughs> great yeah i can't wait for that dude no it's gonna be great it's better than fat josh and like fat theory you like at I least no i think fat theory and fat that's josh dope is man pretty chill yeah. it's pretty chill did you get hot girls did you get cheerleaders did you ever get cheerleaders did you ever get yeah. hot cheerleaders dude you were that guy but i was also in a i was in a, com- a lot of uh committed relationships though do you know what I mean? But I'll say this. This is the I remember when I, I was with this one girl in high school. It feels so weird to talk about, but I was with this one girl in high school. And when we broke up, she was like, she was like one of the most popular girls or whatever. And I was like, one of oh the most my popular God, dudes. no. And when I, when we broke up, it was like, it was news. It was like a big thing. Like the whole <laughs> school was like talking about it and shit. Uh, That's so yeah. cool, dude. That's wild, man. I never knew this about you. That is so, that's actually really dope. I mean, it was what it was, but you know, what was that like? What was it like? To, like, what, like, like, did you get invited to parties and shit? Oh yeah, dude. We really, dude. We partied hard. So my parents also got divorced when I was fifteen. So oh. they were. It was almost like every weekend, one of them was out of town. Do you know what I mean? So like, we would party at like my place a lot. Oh my. God god dude i could tell you some stories but i don't necessarily want to tell them live you know what i mean i never knew this about you this is so cool yeah you say and eh, but like i eat lunch in the stairwell man by myself so like mm. you know, I, like for me like i was that was oh that would have been so cool dude yeah i had a i had a lot of friends from all different walks though you know what i mean like i had some like really really nerdy friends or whatever and like i just genuinely didn't like think of it like that you know what i mean like i think other people thought of it like that but i didn't really think of it like that you know well yeah because you were living it yeah and also in my senior year i missed a whole nine weeks of school i missed a whole quarter of school bro why because i hated school like i hated school uh and so yeah i missed a whole 48 days of school I just didn't like come. You were, you were Ferris Bueller, man. You're basically I, Ferris yeah, Bueller. Yeah, basically, yeah. It's a miracle I graduated this high is school, school man. to be honest with you. This is yeah. dope. This is dope. That's cool, man. It was fun. I mean, I liked, uh, you know, uh, there were there were aspects of it that were really cool. And I had a lot of fun in high school. I don't know how much I learned. You know what I mean? But uh, Well, yeah, I mean... What- but then but then my senior year so i i tore my acl and my pc i had this horrible football injury right and i was like dude i was fast bro like i could run i ran a 4 6 40 i was i was a stud you know what i mean like i was a stud and then i blew my leg out so badly that they were like yeah probably anything other than casual sports is out of the question for the rest of your life and that was weird like to go from being like really really athletically dominant to you know totally losing that edge was really really weird so like i totally lost and it was like something that i actually like you know went to therapy and stuff about because it was like really devastating i think for for my you know persona or whatever yeah um but then it like forced me after that to get like really into like i guess uh working on my mind and shit you know what i mean so yeah Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at chat, dude. Chat just being chat. Uh, Bro, I was I was fast as fuck. I was like very fast and uh, very this athletic. Is cool, man. I'm jelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's dope, man. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. 
I like I liked uh, football and all that. You know what I mean? But honestly, I think that injury, that leg injury, might have saved my brain because I took a lot of headshots. I had a lot because I was uh, my you know I was fighting too because my dad and stuff. So like I would be like playing football and like cracking heads, uh, and then I'd get come into the dojo and like you know do a bunch of sparring and stuff. And I was like I was taking headshots. So like my brain could have been mashed potatoes, bro. Like it's actually like a blessing that I lost the knee instead of the head because some of the, or some of those people that play football their whole life they get out of like college or they get out of the nfl and then like later on in life like 40s and 50s they start having major cte problems like huge cte problems it's not cool i don't even know if i'll let my son play football to be honest with you you know yeah yeah dangerous sport but also very rewarding it was fun uh, since Feige is getting a Star Wars movie, does that mean we will soon see a, a Marvel movie from Kennedy? <laughs> no, <laughs> no way. Probably bro. not. Probably never. Oh, that would be the day, dude. You want to see me rage for sure? Yeah. <laughs> you want to see me rage? <laughs> what characters would you guys like to see in flashbacks? Personally, I want to see live action Rex, Ahsoka, and maybe Padme again. Uh, today I'm feeling Cody. Feeling like I want to see Cody in live action. Cody in live action would be sick. Hunt down Kenobi. Kenobi would be sick. What up, Jack? Jack says the book of blinkers. The book of blinkers. That book of blinkers. Can't get over the buffness of Theory's beard. He looks like Anakin of Anakin like sand. Also glad to know I'm not the only Neo dodging these leaks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it grew good. fast. It's Yo, God fast bless y'all that are dodging these leaks, man. Yeah, there's That's a few crazy. of us. There's a few of us, sure. Yeah. Been watching you guys for a minute now. Keep up the good work. I know that burnout can be real, but keep being y'all and doing the content you love. Thank you. Wait, what? TMM? What's TMM? Don't take my money. Yeah, take my money. Some Thanks, of the nerve comment. vendors always say, yeah. Thanks, comment. Theory, I'm loving the beard. My passion is Star Wars, Marvel, and gaming. I'm struggling to find a career in something I'm passionate about as I'm not a content creator like you guys. Any suggestions? Oh, bro, I never said I was going to be a content creator when I was a kid. You know, it just kind of... You, it just happened, and then you, you teach yourself to uh, edit properly and write scripts and, uh, you know... Uh, voiceovers and all that like it, it just comes if you put in the time and you want to learn it you it just comes it just happens so um if you want to make content go for it man it's as easy as just recording yourself on your phone start like that super simple Agreed. people make it way harder than it needs to be like just just turn the camera on or turn the mic on go for it Yeah, I agree. A lot of Star Wars fans are very annoying by judging material before it's released. That's targeted towards Josh's incessant whining. Love you. No, I get it. I think that, uh, look, people that are really upset that, like, I'm upset about the leaks or whatever. I actually Josh didn't really come up do. with the leak, though. I didn't come up with the leak. You know what I mean? And I do understand people um, being upset about that reaction. And to be honest, like, even me, I'm like, man, I really wish that this didn't happen. Like, again, I really wish that they didn't leak that. Um, and that this conversation wasn't out there because I do think it's kind of unfortunate that now there's a lot of people that have they just they've already made up their mind, unfortunately, man. And that's just mm. kind of the nature of of the internet and leaks and all of that. Um, and so look, I understand what this Josh Randor uh dude is saying, and also get out of my face, Josh. Slam boy, I'm glad I made it to Nerd Theory. Much love. My man. man. What about the Beast Brock Lesnar? What about him? What about him? He's cool. I like Brock. He's going to fight Kenobi. Skywalker Saga is Star Wars. Anything else is fan fiction? Um, for me, one to six is Star Wars and the Clone Wars. Everything else is um, just extra. Agreed. Thanks, Camera Canada. Thanks, Sawyer. 
this show has such a mass appeal and will be huge. General audiences know Kenobi Vader will watch it. I think Reva is to help introduce Inquisitors to those who didn't watch Rebels or play Fallen Order. Dude, uh, I want to try to agree with that, but you have the you have literally all the other Inquisitors that people already have. Like, like what? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That's all I'm gonna say. What do you mean? He says Reva is created to help introduce Inquisitors. You literally have all the other Inquisitors in the show. You've got the fifth brother. You've got the Grand Inquisitor. You have plenty of Inquisitors that are already established and could absolutely work as new entries to explain those characters in the show. So I just can't get down with the idea that she is there to help introduce Inquisitors to the yeah, I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know why. Like, she's there. Yeah. like I just don't understand what he's exactly trying to say. Like the Grand Inquisitor should be just fine as a character for for somebody that's never seen Rebels or seen that character in the comics. Like you're telling me they need Reva. Like Reva's the key. If Reva wasn't there, people wouldn't understand Inquisitors. What is you saying, Brent? So you know Chuck Norris has his own water sea force. Hmm. How about that? How would you guys feel if the plot of Kenobi had Vader go back in time to Chuck? Yeah, that'd be sick, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Manju, but no. That'd be sick, dude. Just posted an Aventador review on my channel. Looking forward to seeing some ultimate content from you. Prices on them are going crazy. Do you plan on taking it to any car shows? Yeah, actually, I've had uh, some people allegedly interested in purchasing it, so I, I'm open to it. I'm open to it. Um, you know. But uh, I really like the car. I really love it. It's really everything I thought it would be. And I really enjoy my time with it. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll sell. Disney promotes a soccer event where Darth Vader comes out. And they play Duel of the Fates. You should check it out. <laughs> okay. I know. I know. Beard theory. Shaved heads and grow goatees. Ooh, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, Josh got to shave his head, though. Yeah, yeah. What up, boys? It's Mike. First off, do you think Grogu will appear in Kenobi or Andor at all? Also, uh, you guys inspired me to make a Star Wars YouTube channel, and now I'm getting close to a thousand subs. Much love. Hey, good for you, brother. That's awesome, man. That's great. Good for you, brother. That's what songs. Hello, do you think that Darth Maul and Cad Bane work together after the comic? If so, then do you think we will see them together in a show? Mm, that'd be Probably fantastic not, man that'd be fantastic they, they, they could they could do anything really yeah they could do everything anything but like do i really want them to do that i i don't i i don't really want you to force darth maul and cad bane <sighs> to get turn into a stick answer. in the mud i might be theory i might just be i mean okay? so a mystic what is he my impression of a stick in the mud you become the very thing you swore to destroy I shouldn't have done that. It's not the Jedi way. Theory, I sent you a link to the petition to make Gary the Stormtrooper canon in your Instagram. Brady, that's where it will remain. Yeah, and Brady, shut up about that guy! <laughs> now you guys are getting me fired up. Dude, he pays us five bucks every week for that, and you just told him to shut up. That's five dollars times fifty-two. He basically paid for like a month's worth of your child's diapers in a Fair year. Fair point. Fair point. Keep on keeping on, so your brother. Your child can take shits. Keep on keeping on, brother. <laughs> How much do diapers cost a month? Oh, bro, I have no idea. I, I mean, we're going to start obviously with like infant ones and then pretty quickly he'll move on to other ones but um hey chat how, how much do diapers cost how much does having a kid a baby cost each month? Like, i'm food, it's probably like diapers. a thousand to two thousand extra a month i'd say what? Probably. probably i don't know on low end sometimes no. on the high end sometimes yeah are you on crack a thousand dollars extra a month for a baby yeah no way yeah what do they need they just need diapers they just go poo -poo. diapers food they need a lot of food yeah but um, they eat like mush like 
Well, they eat like milk and formula for a while. Well, you got the titty for that. (laughs) I'd say prob true. I'd say probably. I'd say about a brand a a grand a month. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'd say about a grand. Um, Okay, let's see what some of the dads here are saying. (laughs) No, it costs your life seventy dollars a month for diapers. Somebody says their baby's a 400 a month budget for everything. That's pretty good. Bro, daycare is 1500 to 2k. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, well, daycare is that's that's a that's where you get wild with it, but you technically don't need that for a baby. 50 to 75 dollars per month, easy. The what? first year, like 3k. Hmm. Interesting. Cloth diapers. We're getting a very spread out uh, 500 a month, here. easy. 300 a month. It costs 14 dollars to reuse diapers. It's all right. Stayed on parent with baby probably like 300 or more a month. 5,000 told by my mom per year. Per year. Hmm. Okay. One diaper per month. Right on, Andre. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a rough, uh, rough move there. Jeez. Well, I guess you'll know in a few months. Yep. They do it by not just remaking Star Wars, but by drawing from the cinema that inspired George originally Western samurai movies, old serials. Yeah, yeah, like I agree. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Yeah, very nice uh, comment, Brent. I agree. Love from Scotland. What's up, Joseph? It's my 18th today. Happy birthday. Buzzing for Kenobi. Do the, both of you think that if leaks are true and ruin Kenobi, would a season two be worth it? Uh... N- No, let me tell you, if Kenobi sucks, I'm just going to go back to making pure prequel and original trilogy content. I'll just go back to making Legends stuff from when George was around. I'll cover maybe some of the new books that I like. Other than that, and I mean, I'll still watch the shows and everything, but other than that, it's going to be generally a prequel and original channel. Just kind of like it's it's always been. We're like, I'll cover the new stuff, but it's not really the forefront. Yeah, I definitely don't think I want a season two of Kenobi either way, even if it's good. I, I, uh, you know, I don't really want another season of it. I would like that. You know, what's he going to do? I said I'd never leave Tatooine, but one last ride. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want that, bro. With that, like, I mean, if if he doesn't station anyone to look over Luke, I think that's going to be the most stupid shit ever. Hmm. Like... Right? Like, I mean, like, how could you just like... I'm not saying nothing because I, in my head, I'm like... Because you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if he doesn't put anyone to watch over Luke, someone like at least competent and that can like defend Luke, then he's... the uh, this I don't know, dude. That's just like... Kenobi would do that. And obviously, if they wrote that in there that he didn't, then that's absolutely ridiculous and they just don't understand the character. But I guess we'll see. I love your beards. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. Thanks, brother. Bite my tongue. Hey, Theory and Josh. Loving the show, guys. Who would win full potential Annie or Legends Luke? Also, I have my driver's test on Wednesday. Wish hey, me good luck. luck. Good luck on the driver's test. Good luck, man. Uh, hopefully, you do better than SpongeBob did. And uh, full potential Annie or Legends Luke? I'd have to say Legends Luke. What do you think? Uh full potential anakin can you, can you? you think legends luke would lose to full potential anakin yeah what the full potential anakin know. is legends luke and more then how could he oh, 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 oh you threw it in at the last minute you mother trucker okay yeah maybe 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 dude full potential anakin is the chosen one i mean it doesn't get better than that true true yeah. think of it star killer George Lucas said Starkiller was essentially what Luke would have become if he had trained with Vader at that age. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vader was pretty close to being able to beat Starkiller. Like, it wasn't like it was super easy for Starkiller. Right. And that's Vader being 80% of his, 80% of the max power of the Emperor. But if he was full potential Anakin, he would have been 200% the Emperor, which is what George had said. Damn. Well, 200% of the Emperor is ridiculous. Yeah. 
I asked him what we're on Twitch last night about Kenobi, and all he said is he worked on it and can't talk about it. He said the show's going to be amazing. Should we trust him, or is he just saying that? Man, he, of course he's just saying that, bro. Like, <laughs> guys, like, <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm sure. No, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna be like, yo, it's shit. I'm like, no, yeah, right, bro. exactly. No, it's Star- buttholes. Star Wars is dead. You know, he's like guys. the face of, you know, the yeah. the. the I don't know what can I say or the face of not Star Wars, but like he's he's a very famous Star Wars um, actor and you know yeah. contributor. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's no way he's ever going to be like, no, it sucks. Like hey, I'm sure I'm sure it is amazing. You know I'm sure it is going to be amazing, and I'm very hopeful that it's going to be amazing. Um, you guys just get me down to all your <laughs> all your leaker stuff. I'm not trying to get you down. No, not you. I'm just I saying. I need Will to slap me hard enough to forget Sequel Trilogy. Yeah, me too. Oh, dude, don't worry. You'll forget about the sequels after Kenobi. <laughs> not in a good way. Okay, Killer Jed says, Hey, Theory, since we're both Anakin fans, I thought I'd let you know I made an Anakin Photoshop over my YouTube channel. I'm studying graphic design in school right now. And so I'd be curious what you think. Keep it up. Theory. That's awesome, dude. Um, during graphic design, uh, I'd let you know I made an Anakin Photoshop over on my YouTube channel. I'm studying graphic design. What do you think? What do I think of graphic design? I think that's a great career, and I think that's if that's where your passion is, then go with it, man. For sure, indeed, indeed, indubitably. Josh, did you hear Kenobi does the Tony Ferguson sand attack on Vader? Theory, what do you think of Mark Hamill instead of Boob of Boba training Grogu? I didn't watch the behind the scenes yet. You didn't see it yet? No, I did not. Hmm. <clears throat> I did not. Uh, and no, I haven't heard that he does the Tony Ferguson sand attack. I mean, that sounds pretty sick. Let's go. What's up, Theory and Josh? Happy 20th anniversary to Attack of the Clones. Crazy 12-year-old me is hella pumped for more of the dynamic duo on the goggle box. Much love, and may the force be with you both. Hey, much love, Kiwi Collector. Hope you're doing well, man. Yes, thank you. Keep collecting. Yeah, yeah. Dude, so last night I came across the Obi-Wan Kenobi A New Hope Master Replicas lightsaber. And... Chat, let me know what you think about this. The dude is, it's, I think he's in like this, in Europe or something. He's selling it for six grand Canadian. It's like 4,000 something euro, but it's unopened. So I don't know what the number is of the plaque. Like, I don't know what number out of 2,500 mm-hmm. it is. It could be a very low number, which would indeed make it worth the, that stupidly high price. Right. Or it could be a very high number, which I'd just be like, shit. I just, overpaid for this and i emailed the guy i'm like so do you know the number he's like no it's, it's never been opened i don't know hmm sounds a little sus yeah but it looks nice God damn. try to talk him down to like four tell me you'd go I hate for haggling i hate it but so you want me to haggle for you also i have to go use the restroom real quick okay go a brb okay uh... Not just get an open one for fifteen hundred. Yeah, there's an open one there for like I think two grand or something. Well, yeah, like fifteen hundred US. So, I don't. Know. We'll see what happens. I definitely want the Kenobi one, especially for when the show comes out. I want to be able to do a review because I've never had the Kenobi one. Had a terrible day at work, but seeing and hearing you guys always makes my day better. Thanks, and may the force be with. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I've had shitty days at work too. Not this, but uh, well, yeah, no, this too, I guess. But like. Yeah, I mean, it happens, but, you know, tomorrow's another day, and just focus on that, bro. So, you'll you'll get through it. Yo, Theory and Josh, love you guys. Have you heard Hayden's voice in recent interviews for Kenobi? He sounds like a totally different person. Very deep. Yeah, he sounds much more matured. He sounds much, much older. He's more like, he's more like this now. He's not really having the same voice anymore. It's not like a, like a higher pitch, like, Master Kenobi, you know? Too many people at Disney have a Avengers Baron Zemo mentality. Instead of letting great childhood characters be great, they want to go, they want to make God bleed. What does that mean? Baron Zemo mentality. Chat, do you know what that means? Yo, Mark Carpenter. Thank you, man. Thanks for the nice words. (laughs) 
What's up, guys? What's up, Rob Slayer? Best Star Wars content around. I'm very conflicted on what Order 66 had to pick up. The beard is a good look. May the force be with you. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I'm growing into it. Get it? Um, I would go with the red, bro. I would go with the red. I don't know if any blue ones are available anymore. Last time I checked, they were sold out. But you, you could click the link, I guess, and see if they're... Sometimes the, they put them back up there um, on Teespring. But... Last time I checked, it wasn't available. Malgus versus Revan, both full power. Who wins and how? Say Malgus. <laughs> I wonder how Vader smells. The suit is basically a walking outhouse or call us to me bag. You gross. No offense. No officer can say anything and pretends it's okay. Uh, well, he could also be submerged in water and lava, so I doubt you could get anything in or out of the suit yeah but i bet he does smell i bet he's stanky why don't you go tell him that i will too i'll be like why don't you stop crying about padma Wado or whatever her face is you silly wanker if vader was real he'd hurt you that's true very badly and i probably wouldn't actually say it to him if he was real I was actually intimidated the first time I ever saw Vader was um, when I was doing my movie and Dupree walks in and like he was like six foot seven, six foot eight in the suit. And it was actually very intimidating. Mm, yeah, that's a, they talk about that, too, for the Kenobi show, just how intimidating yeah, I saw it, it is. Yeah. yeah, it's super fun, man. So, yeah, yeah, he's a he's an intimidating fellow. Yeah. You got this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, picked up from uh, or picked up the Revenge of the Sith novel off y'all's recommendation. I'm excited to get into it. Also hyped for Red, White, and Blue Order 66 hat. Much nice. love. Nice. Yeah. I'll have those on sale probably starting June. Pretty sick. Josh is uh, right. Disney, stop trashing George's characters to prop up your new ones. Go far ahead and get good writers to make something new. Yeah, man. That's yeah. really where I'm at. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sup, boys. Now that I have a break from school, I can finally put more time into my fan film, and your streams are definitely going to help me get through. May the force be with you. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. I hope the film goes well. I just thought of a shirt. Hmm. Sequels are better than prequels. And then you put a cap emoji. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. Sequels over prequels equal cap. You could do it probably. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be yeah, yeah like a math equation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or like Star Wars sucks, and then a cap. Yo, we have uh, we're working on some merch for. Uh, see if I can pull this up for our channel. Yeah. On uh, yeah. Let me see if I can. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you guys this. See what you guys think. The Nerd Avengers will definitely get this, but it's uh. So it's me in the Kenobi thing looking at the Grand Inquisitor. And then in the bottom panel, it says, <laughs> no Star Wars, no cry. That's going to be on a shirt? Yeah, I think about putting that on a shirt. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can put Star Wars. True. Yeah, I might have to take so that So I would out. probably just put S Wars or something. Yeah. Or maybe just remove that and just have it like that. Or maybe put some laser eyes in the bottom. Yeah, maybe that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Mm. Hey, at least they point. nailed it with the Grand Inquisitor. At least there wasn't something even before the leaked ending that was already triggering me. Oh, my God. Right. Sup, boys? Now that I have a break from school, I can finally put more time into my fan film and your streams. Definitely going to help me get through. Awesome, dude. Looking forward to it, man. Theory, what do you think of theory going around that both chosen slash silver will die in a fight to the death? That's a theory. Sounds like a lame theory. I don't think anyone's dying. Never heard that. Hmm. But I'd like to make a video on silver dying. I think that's possible. I mean, it could be possible. Mm -hmm. Voldy versus Kylo, but Kylo can't just break his wand. Hmm. I'd say Voldy. I think Voldemort would just destroy Kylo. 
Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think KOTOR 2 will be remastered as well as the first one? Probably not. I, eh, maybe. If the, I guess if the first one sells a bunch, maybe. I doubt it. I doubt it. You don't really see them talk about that one. Yeah. If OB any dynamics is good, I don't care about anything else. Fair. Yeah, I could feel that. Hey, Theory. Josh, have you seen the video on your last live stream on the Mass Alorians channel? Interested in your thoughts. Great work. No. I don't even know what that is, dude. Sorry. Video on your last live stream? No. I don't know what that is. Who wins Republic Commando Squad versus Bad Batch? Ooh. Bad Batch. Yeah, probably. I mean, they got they're mutants. They got superpowers. Yeah, right? yeah. Especially if Crosshair is still there. I just hope with context the ending will be a lot better. I want this show to be the best thing ever, and I want no more division amongst the film. Well, yeah, that's never gonna happen. I would definitely recalibrate your expectations, Nick, because I'm just telling you right now, that shit ain't happening. It's gonna divide fans. Now, whether or not you like it and you think it's cool, that's you know that's kind of your business you know what i mean yo what is bro, what that profile picture is what that, is dude? that oh my god <laughs> how'd they get that photo of us man well, yeah i know right Shit. it's bugged why is kenobi shocked to hear qui-gon found a path to immortality when he already met his forced ghost in the mortis clone wars episodes love the beard too thanks man Mortis represents a place outside of the living force or the real universe. So a lot of things are possible there that you wouldn't assume would be possible in the actual universe. At least that's the way I understand it. Yeah. Um, Cause I almost feel like Mortis was, I don't even know if I, if, 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 if Qui-Gon showing up on Mortis was legit. Yeah, it, it. We don't know. We we really don't. I just feel like that was maybe the sun like effing with him. You know, absolutely could be the case. Yeah, and I think at, to some degree that's probably how Kenobi feels. Like I don't feel like he genuinely thinks he had a discussion with Qui Gon, but maybe he does. Maybe he will in Kenobi. That'd be cool. Sad Batch tonight. Put Josh through the trials. What's Sad Batch? Don't know. My girlfriend of, of five years finally wants to watch Star Wars. Started with the prequel trilogy, and she loves Attack of the Clones the most. She told me halfway through uh, Revenge of the Sith, she is going to have nightmares now, and she was so sad about Annie R1. R1? Annie and R1. What's R1? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, me neither. But that's cool that she likes Attack of the Clones. That was one of my favorites, too. Yeah. No, it's cool that, honestly, it's just fun to, like, introduce somebody, especially if it's, like, a girlfriend or something to Star Wars, and if they like it, that's sick. Happy Monday, fellas. What's up, Victor? Josh, sweet Vader shirt, man. Lord Theory, sexy beard, and just ordered my Red Order 60 sack. Can't wait. Nice, boys. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. You'll love yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. How cool well, they is that shirt? I got the same one. We haven't even released that one that's really cool that you're undoubtedly talking about. No, this about. is old. I think he's talking about the one I uh, showed. Or maybe yours. Wait, do you really have this shirt, though? Let me know. Him? I don't know. Oh, the Sad Batch is the Call of Duty? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. I definitely don't have Call of Duty downloaded anywhere right, right. now. Right. 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 I've been playing Apex, and I've been playing Fortnite. Greetings, theory and friend. <laughs> Not sure if you already commented on it or saw, but allegedly Fallen Order Jedi. Yeah, it's called Survivor. Yes, Jeff Grubb is good. Yeah, and I believe that. I believe that report. Yes. I don't know who Jeff Grubb is. So I you know, take everything with a grain of sand. He's a journalist. He does journalistic stuffs. Cool. Yeah. Who was the better author, in your opinion? Timothy Zahn, Michael Stover. You mean Matthew Stover, James Luceno, Drew Carpshin, Kevin J. Anderson, Michael Reed, someone else. Um, Drew Carpshin really... and James Luceno for me. Those are the top two. I can't really say who is better because they covered different characters that I love. 
also well. So it's like, I don't know how, you know, one thing with Star Wars is it really depends on the writer and who, which character they're writing for. So, um, if they were to write, like if James Lucino was, was going to write revenge of the Sith, like, I don't really know how it would turn out for me. I would probably have to say, I really like James Lucino, man. Really like James Lucino is probably the best one. His writing is fantastic. Bro. I, mean, I love Michael Stover, I love Matthew Stover, um, but probably James Lucino. Mm -hmm. I'd say James it's, it's a tie between those two for me, for Matthew and James. Yeah. <clears throat> but I mean, that Plagueis book was just ridiculous. It just reads so well. It's just so, it's, yeah. As a content creator, I have watched you have different opinions to the masses. How do you manage not upsetting so many people not agreeing with you? How do you manage not upsetting so many people not agreeing with you? Uh, I'm not responsible for people getting upset or not if I have a different opinion. So I, I don't know if that's what you what your question is from misinterpreting, but um, I feel like I'm just one guy and uh, I never want my opinion to be you know, skewed or changed um, to appease an audience or to be more likable or um, to not upset someone. You know, I, I'm always going to speak my mind and tell it like it is and tell it like how I feel it is. And if I change my opinion someday, then I'll let you know. But yeah, that's my approach to things. I was 18 years old when Attack of the Clones released, and I was it's always an established fan. Uh, no, kind of looks like I'm not. Looks like uh, at this point. Love how much the prequels have been embraced now. Yes, that is a really cool aspect of it for sure. The prequels getting that love. Where can I get the Darth Vader shirt? I love. Oh, I don't know, man. That someone sent that to me. I, I have no idea. That shirt is sick, dude. It's very cool. Very rare. Yeah. I've never worn it because I love it so much. I tried it on. But. Does Vader know Ahsoka somehow escaped in Rebels, or does he think he killed her? I don't know. That's the thing. I think well, he probably he knows, her. dude. I I think he thinks he killed her. In my opinion, but really, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he swings down like a heavy double-handed strike. Oh, you know what? If he really clearly saw the portal, then he might think I mean, he's alive. Yeah. Like that's the only how thing. could you not when you see a, it's like your you know portal opens behind yeah. someone and gets pulled into it and it's like what true hmm depends on what he saw because there was also debris coming down at that moment too right who knows who knows yeah. keep that beard growing till the end of Kenobi theory you can grow good facial hair on like Josh might as well what the Josh hey don't say that here he grows fine facial hair yeah and also you've never seen my beard when it's all grown grown it out the whole way. So shut your mouth, Hugh. It's growing pretty fast, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I like it. I think it looks good. Jesus. Yeah. It's nice not having to do anything, but I also miss my face. Just kind of feel like I <laughs> look like a bum. I miss my face. Yeah. Right on. Hey, Chad's team Mike Starwalker here. Yo, what's up, dude? Um, Theory, you're a huge inspiration of mine, so I need your opinion. Clone Wars Anakin with a beard? Doing a cosplay for for a fight film. Much love to you guys. Clone Do Wars it. Anakin with a beard. No Do beard. It. No, don't do it. No beard. Anakin with a beard, beard is like Eminem with a beard. I love Eminem with a beard. Yeah, but I just miss Eminem like bleach blonde hair, Eminem shaved head. You know. I like Slim Shady. Yeah, Marshall mm -hmm. Mathers. Mm -hmm. Some shady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this dude says, "Hey guys, make it a theme song for Nerd Theory." Oh, oh cool. cool, cool. Is it like some boom bap? That's what I like. They a bunch of nerds. They don't get any birds. They look like big turds. Hey, he's got bars. They talk a lot. You heard? <laughs> That's a million dollar song. <laughs> Hi guys, I've been watching the channel for a few years. Recently up to Josh's channel. I just graduated uni. Congrats. And when things got stressful watching you guys helped. I'm hyped for Kenobi and TG Maverick. Top Gun. Oh yeah, Top Gun Maverick's going to be awesome. 
dude mm-hmm. that there's so many the praise for that movie it's nice it's nice to see and uh yeah i can't wait yeah hey congrats on graduating man that's awesome yeah that is awesome i never finished <laughs> congratulations bro yeah yeah what are we got green Theories all backed up. Got to be his L on some T's. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, what? what movie is that from? Oh, it's like gotta... 40-year-old version where he what says, mean? like, he's talking about 40-year-old version. Got to be like, his L on some T's? Oh, no, no, no. It's, uh, no, it's Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Forget... Have you ever seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall? Oh, got to blow his, no. What? Yeah, 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 no. yeah. Yo, that movie's hilarious, dude. That movie's really funny. Yeah. Theory Omega is so important because DNA in her eggs. Omega is so important. Oh, her eggs. okay. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah. And uh, also, it's pronounced Omega. Omega. Mm-hmm. I'm about to start a right, go ahead, sir. Star Wars D&D game, and I would be honored if you guys would choose my race and lightsaber color. Uh, why didn't you say... Okay, so I'll say this. Female Twi'lek Red Saber. Um, male Zabrak gold saber. Whoa, that's nice. That's nice. Tis Josh, tis. Ooh, Ooh time for juicy Josh and fruity theory. (laughs) (laughs) Uncle Sock, right on, bro. Nick says, been thinking about Luke's protection was more active and traumatizing for Luke been thinking that Luke's protection was more active and traumatizing for Luke. With Obi-Wan being a mind trick master, he could have used a certain trick to eliminate traumatic memories to protect Luke. Perhaps. Perhaps. What's up, Nick? I hope you're doing well, man. Make sure to keep us updated, bro. Yeah, hope you're doing well. Hey, Theory and Josh, with Celebration happening next week, do you think we'll get any updates on the Rogue Squadron movie? Oh, dude, I bet we're going to get updates on everything. Yeah, if Rogue Squadron's actually coming out next year, they damn sure better have some announcements at uh, Celebration. If it's not coming out next year, they better explain why. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I uh, look, we've had three years. That three-year break for the Star Wars movies uh, ended up, I think, becoming four years, and two of them were in the midst of the pandy. So it's like, it feels like just yesterday that uh, Rise was coming out to me in a lot of ways. But, yeah, they've had some time off. So, uh, yeah, I'd really like to know what's going on with the movies for Star Wars. So. Juice? No thanks. No thanks. Okay. All right. Right on. You know, we are old when we have back from Sciatica and love the movies. Blank Check, Lemu, and it can substitute cost. Nice. Blank Check was great. Never seen it. I want to check it out, though. Oh, when he said juice. No, yes. Yeah. 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 No thanks. thanks. (sighs) Yes. Yes. I remember. Did you watch the interview Ewan did the other day where he jokes on YouTubers being wrong with all their breakdown videos? You think he means you? LOL. Bro, I would love to be wrong. Day where he wrong. jokes on YouTubers being wrong with all their breakdown videos. Do you think he means you? Um, I don't know. I didn't see that. Oh, man. I would love to be wrong. I didn't think those guys watch YouTube or like watch Star Wars YouTubers. I think some of them do, especially when they are active in a role. They go on there and check it out. Hmm. I think he was actually talking about the things that like YouTubers had predicted for Kenobi, if I recall correctly. That's what he was talking about. Maybe. I mean, what do we know? We're just fans speculating. Yeah. Yeah, and he could honestly just be pulling that out of his butt too. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't watch YouTube, and he's just saying that. You know what I mean? Where's the interview? Mm, Did you see it? I have no idea. No, I haven't seen that. Oh, well, but but a lot of people have brought that up to me. So. Oh, that's the first time I hear of it. Bought that shirt a few weeks back on the home shopping channel, special Star Wars edition. Next shirt I get is bald, angry Josh, and those rants and raves are epic. Yeah. Man, need to bet that hair, bro. Let's go. I'm not betting the hair on nothing. I wonder why at any point Uncle Owen Ampru didn't get a restraining order on Kenobi, or would that involve the Emperor? Dude, that would involve the law. Yep, no comment. Like, Yo, we don't want <clears throat> ex Jedi Master Obi Wan Kenobi coming near us ever again. It's like, dude, Empire would know that. <laughs> just finished binge watching Clone Wars and it occurred to me 
Who would have been more evil? Dark Annie from the Overlords or Annie as Vader? Mm. Vader's pretty evil. I think Annie as Vader was pure evil. Pure evil. And hatred. Thank you for engaging me to Star Wars even more. Here's some Subway money. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, bro. I like Subway. I haven't been to Subway in a long time, though. F Kenobi, F the hat. What's Savannah's at? <laughs> well done. How would you cast actors from Karate Kid in Star Wars? I can't cast. For, I, uh, I wouldn't because I would feel like if you see it, you just kind of get taken out of the story that you're like, because they're just too big. They're just too big of characters in the Karate Kid world. So you're like, oh, that's freaking Daniel Russo. You know, that's Mike Barnes. That's uh, at least for me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's I've been fair. practicing my Obi Annie lightsaber spin preparation for Obi Wan Kenobi. Good. I should hope everyone will take after you. Hey guys, thanks for keeping me entertained as I'm out of work, recovering from a concussion. Well, I hope you recover well. Hope you recover, man. Yep. How did the Jedi know about the rule of two? Uh, that's a good question. I thought after Bane, the Jedi thought the Sith were extinct. How the general rule of two in what? TPA? Uh, are you talking about the Phantom Menace? No. TPA is not Phantom Menace. No, but that's probably what he meant to type. You think? Yeah, because no, they know. A and right? M are so far away from each other on the keyboard. TPA, the... The power of two? No. Uh, rule of two? No. Uh, the... I don't know. Maybe. Um... I think he meant the Phantom Menace. Well, I mean, it would be silly to think that the Jedi weren't versed in uh, lore from the Sith. Yeah, I think there's definitely... I mean, if they knew they were extinct... It, I don't know, bro. That's It's kind of a fair question. I'm sh No, I, th I think... Uh, well, sure, of course, it's a fair question, but I, I think just talk of the town kind of thing. Maybe like someone found out that there's only two Sith now. This is like a new rule. Someone told someone, someone told someone, and then finally that like the legend grew that there's only two Sith, and they just thought it was a legend or whatever. True. Maybe they didn't actually know. Maybe it has something to do in the High Republic. Maybe Yoda will find out. Yeah. If the Clone Wars was released before Episode Three, could have. Anakin been convinced if Obi Wan mentioned Ahsoka during their fight on Mustafar? No, he could not have been convinced. So. I don't think it would have changed anything, man. Nah, never, my British. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Somebody said the Plagueis novel explains this because some Sith turned to the light side and then helped them out, but I don't remember that. What's up, Matthew? Thank you, man. Hope you're having a good day, man. Theory growed out. Meh, shave that dome. Fair trade. Nope. If you Lose throw it or I gain it. Item, it's, a, it's a fair trade. Nope. If you, sh if you throw an item at Cal that holds a lot of painful dark history, Cal is rendered useless, just like when he talks, takes hold of Trilla's lightsaber, and Trilla runs away with the holocron. Love you both. That's true. Mm, yeah, that's fair. So basically what you're saying is Cal's a little... He can't do nothing. Hey, guys, celebrating my 20th today. Born the day... Of Attack of the Clones. You don't get to see Ezra at the same age as Cal, yet he outdueled Thrawn. I'm with Josh. My man! Bro, Thrawn outdueled Thrawn? Who cares? Yeah, that's right. No, he knows that. Someone clip that of Josh and then just make it like a thumbnail image where he's like. <laughs> Uh, Love you guys. Was wondering, have you tried the Outer Rim mod for Blade and Sorcery? Hands down, the best Star Wars VR experience. Um, my TikTok is no, I have not checked it. Out. Have not. No, I've heard of it though. I've seen some vids. It looks cool. Yeah, it does look dope. I think Mark was trying to get me played. 
As a fellow bald bro with a beard, stick it out and see how it looks after a month or two. Get some beard oil and a nice brush to help with itching. Also, how's the micropigmentation going? So, yeah, I have another session in July. I'm uh, going to get a little bit darker, maybe go down a little bit. Um, I bought some beard oil, but I, I hate how much it smells. It's like per so perfumey. I just don't want that. So, oh, I got to get find... a different smell. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get something that doesn't have any smell. Get, I, or... Dude, I had one one time that smelled like wood chips. Yeah, that's the one I got. It's like cedar. Okay. And you didn't wood, like it? You think wood it's cedar. too much? I love it, but it's just too strong. Hmm. Hmm. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Again, love the beard. F the last Jedi, that is all. Thanks, Tyler. Hmm. Thanks, Ty. Todd. Feige, Feige sucks. sucks. Keep Marvel in its yeah, own yeah, trash yeah, side. Yo, yo, yeah. Rusty. You do. Yo, you're so you're dumb, Joel Rusty. Ah, shit. So dumb. <laughs> anyway. Yo, my guys. Uh, thank you for another great week of Nerd Theory. Theory, are you done with the pins? Uh, can't find them in the shop. Also, Josh, your channel rocks. Hey, thanks, Lee. Um, You, you guys sold the pins out. <laughs> uh. Hold on, let me let me let me see. I can I can contact my guy if you guys want more, but um they were very exclusive and they were very limited. Yeah, so basically if you didn't get them in, you missed out. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right now, the pin available um on the uh the chat. It'll be pinned at the top. Ah, the pin will be pinned. I don't know if they're for sale, so you're gonna have to click that link and let me know if it's actually sold out or not. If it's not, then right now is your last chance ever ever before celebration yep by worthy apprentice if you can get it rush delivered i guess who wins in a fight kenobi no, or reva would kenobi have mercy and spare her or would he be willing to kill oh dude yeah i can't answer that can't answer that and how dude, dare you send that in d burton dude if he it gets beaten by reva i'm Let's be honest, Ahsoka and Rex both have not in the original trilogy disease. If you had to respectfully kill off two of those characters before A New Hope, how would you do it? Oh, I see. Rex. I can't kill Ahsoka. Yeah. Rosario Dawson's too hot. She's a bit. If you were writing Kenobi, what would you do? <laughs> oh, Sam, what? <laughs> what kind of question is that? So this is a long question. Yeah, it's a long answer. With the hate Ray gets, is there a way to save her role? Probably not. I don't. It's, so there's a lot of people that love Ray. Like a lot of younger people, I think really like Ray. Um, yeah. So I think there's people that like Ray. Um, but as far as like for those that don't like her, no, there's no real chance to make her like a great character in their eyes. No, it's because that is because of what they did to luke in order to make her look good so we now associate her with hurting luke which we see luke and ourselves a lot or like in our, our childhood so it's very hard for us to like ray now because we see pain we see that okay well you took luke away from me hmm. i don't know if i make that exact connection i just think she's just a really poorly written character <clears throat> I'd be down for an Ahsoka and Luke in the style of the movies, The Graduate. Have the Dustin Hoffman cameo for fun. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. I think Leak is from an old script before rewrite. Oh, very. Do you think? No. No. You think it's real? I think it's real, dog. I think it's real. <laughs> for sure uh let's see here elijah says i am making some custom star wars hero clicks josh oh that's sick i finished darth maul already what's the best way i could share it with you beard theory uh hit me up on discord or send me a dm on twitter is probably the best way cool man yo do either of you guys watch better call Saul? i don't no nah, i've never seen it heard it's good though yeah i mean i was a big breaking bad fan but i didn't breaking bad was awesome yeah 
something I just want y'all opinion on. How do you think a peak OB1 versus a just after reconstruction Vader, who would win? Obi Wan. I think Vader would be too clunky. It sort of showed in the, I mean, whether or not the comics are considered real, there's moments in the comics where he's still like clunky with it and getting. I would say Obi Wan, you know, he, he had to relearn how to fight with a lightsaber. Yeah. So, like, his hands were huge. They were just like mechanical hands. Mm hmm. And so that's something in Brotherhood that, that it goes over is how Anakin is coming to terms now with his new mechanical hand and that it's actually like not one to one. Like the, the de there's a delay. Mm, interesting. <clears throat> so imagine if he had that hand as flesh, how much of a better fighter he would be. True. In theory, couldn't anyone use the force if they trained? If myths are in every living thing, then technically means all have a connection to the force. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, that's actually what George Lucas said, that everyone could become very powerful in the force, you know, depending on their potential. It just depends if they were into that sort of thing or not. Like everyone can learn karate, it just depends if they're into that or not. If they would train or put in the time and practice. Yeah. So the way I've always viewed this is that like, everybody does tap into the force like when hansel is doing some crazy stuff that like defies what a human should be able to do or like shooting behind his back or whatever like i think you're tapping into the force but it's like more of like a flow state thing for most beings and then i do think there are specific beings that can use the force in a way that maybe most normal people cannot so maybe like normal people could flow with it and use it almost like Chirrut Inway does in Rogue One where he's like dodging stuff because he's like just he's feeling the force but could he like lift an X-Wing like I don't think so I love this comic comments I this is the probably the most amazing comment I've ever read Ray is a good character you just admitted to being a child murdering lunatic oh thank yeah 100 percent. thank yeah. you sam seven just returns. don't just thank don't you. tell anybody about it though because it's yeah please i don't want people to know I, that about i don't me. know how you found out about me but it's... see that's that is everyone that's the the rhetoric if you don't like ray that's also another thing you could be you're, you're not racist or you know sexist or anything like that you are a child murdering lunatic that's it seems pretty <laughs> far for the course <laughs> for nowadays i'm actually kind of becoming numb to that kind of stupidity I... it's so prevalent it's just so crazy oh to my me. god i i like 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 there's just so many npcs in the world i, mm -hmm. I just totally i don't know. stop making star wars at the mercy of the characters and stories we already know it's a lose lose go way back or way forward that's uh what about the game of thrones type show intense drama heavy character development yeah i'd like something like that for sure um yeah i'm with it i'm with it i'm with it i'm hip hello fellow kids oh you know what that's from no wow is it honey i shrunk the kids austin powers dr evil oh sure yeah those movies were dope when he was trying to get a hug from his son. Mm, yeah, yeah, dark, yeah. Dark, 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 dark. <laughs> Good stuff. How can Grievous block blasters without the force? He can't. <laughs> what do you mean? Yo, I like that hero. The hero click you just sent me on Twitter. That's nice. Thank you. Also, why can't Jedi just lift him up and crush him? This has been on my mind. You're absolutely right. They could. I don't know why they didn't. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, they're kind of stupid, ain't they? <laughs> Just lift them up and like do, 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 do. done. True, true. Fanfic if Separatists took over Galaxy. Ooh, what if the Separatists won? Mm, how about that? I've never. Yeah, that's. I've never done that one. That's crazy. Henceforth, you shall be named Daddy Josh. Freaking Josh that was that dude we were all were like what a show yeah amen yeah the, amen the, bro. the football player who becomes the what with the valedictorian would you say homecoming queen homecoming king yep. and gets the hot cheerleader girl yeah that's definitely the show yeah it was awesome god damn it jelly hey theory and josh mm -hmm. 
longtime listener, first time super chatter. Question Where did the prophecy of the chosen one come from? Who was the prophet? And why did the Jedi care so much about it? A prophecy misread could have been. Could have been. Where does yeah. that prophecy come from? So there were ancient texts that Obi Wan was reading from, ordered by Qui Gon. Page Turners, they were not. Yeah. Um, in this was in the book Master and Apprentice, and Obi Wan sitting there with like a lantern. Oh, I in the do library. remember that. Yeah. So there was ancient, and yeah and. Now, of course, Disney put in like a whole bunch of other prophecies about there's one like about Kylo, there's one mm -hmm. about Leia, there's one yep. about Palpatine coming back. There's like they just, you know, and that's that's one part of the book that I was just like convenient, you know, but yeah, anyways. Have an idea. What if the new Star Wars movies had a triumvirate between Kylo, Rey and Finn, Kylo being a Skywalker, Rey a Kenobi, Finn a Vastor? It's like the ones with Kylo as balance, Ray as light, Finn as dark, honest opinion. That'd be kind of dope, but I I'm just so over it, man. I don't want to be. You know, I don't want I don't want to be like negative about it, but I'm just so over the sequels, man. I'm done. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to like I'm done. Yeah. I'm over over it. Yep. Josh, I'm sorry, but someone said den of cap and that has me mm. dying. Then I you guys have it. Y'all say cap like y'all know Josh like that. Well, you watch him on YouTube, weirdos. Oh, it doesn't bother me at all. They wouldn't say that to my face. Maybe they would. Oh, I would love it. I would love it, dude. You're not a violent man. You'd go to jail. You'd lose your channel. I love You'd lose violence. everything. I love violence with a passion. But you'd have to swing on me first or sign waivers and go to the dojo. Man, no one's swinging on anybody. Just saying. Nothing's, nothing's happening. No one's swinging on anybody. We're talking about Star Wars. It'll happen. Go, go suck your butt. It'll happen. No, it won't. It's treason, then. I tell you, <laughs> just, just try me. Catch me live. Catch me, in, catch me at the uh, club. Dude. Here's my answer to that. If someone doesn't like me, just let's just like have a pretzel together and like talk, and that's it. Do you hear that expression? Do. Like, I wish a motherfucker would. Yeah, but I, I, I rather just deal with deal in peace now. At this stage of my life, I don't want to be that person I was. So I think this is a much better path. I would never hurt someone that didn't deserve it. Plus, if someone doesn't like me because of my take on Star Wars, like, I'm not going to fight them. For, like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> like, no matter what, like, you know, like. I fought for less. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Dude, where the hell was I? Uh, I lost my place. Wait, did you just read this one, Josh? Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. But talk about the crown of the force. I have no idea what that is. Do you know what, what that is? Force with the crown on it. No, no, no. So there's like a leak or something about the crown of the force to subreddit. It's on a subreddit that like a spoiler subreddit or something. Okay. And no. Yeah, no, Elijah, I didn't find anything on it. Dude, I lost my place with the soupies. Oh. No. Oh, here we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. I think. Yeah. All right. White Falcon. Cool. All right. We're good. I'm going to go pee. You want to read this one? Yeah. Ace Production says, also, it was awesome since he was a part of my childhood with Clone Wars, and I thanked him for that. Uh oh, I'm missing context already. Um, and I thanked him for that and told him I went to be in Book of Boba Fett as young Boba in an anthology, and he was like, that's awesome. Let's do it. 
So can anybody in the chat remind me what or who he's talking about? Book of Boba Fett. Maybe it's Tamara? With the Clone Wars, and I thanked him for that. No. It's probably not Tamara. Who who do you think he was talking about, Chad? I definitely feel the young Boba voice character. No, I don't think he would say is that guy would be a big part of his childhood. I have no idea. Sam Witwer? Ooh, okay, maybe. Yeah, was that what he was talking about before? Well, that's cool. Play a young Book of Boba Fett in the anthology, and that's awesome. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm into it. <laughs> What's up, chat? How many of you guys want to fight me now? Let's just see. Put a, put a one in the chat if you want to fight. Because I want to know. How many, how many challengers are there? Josh, are you a little medicated right now? I mean, I wouldn't say I'm taking all these names down. I'm taking, I'm screenshotting all these names. Everybody that said one, everybody that said one, I'm coming after all of you. What? Never. Nothing. We're just reading super chats. <laughs> we just. Uh... Okay. Thanks, Ace. What do you say? I think he was talking about Sam Witwer in that. I'm not 100% sure. Let me read that again. Hold on. Also, it was awesome since he was part of my childhood with the Clone Wars, and I thanked him for that and told him I wanted him in Book of Boba as young Boba in an anthology, and he was like, that's awesome. Let's do it. Oh, it was, oh. Interesting. Season 2, Ezra would smash Cal? No, he wouldn't. Yes, yes, he would. Much love, guys. Big Star Wars fan here. Thanks for creating the great community for us hardcore nerds to gather. You both add a special sauce to the recipe. Well, that's very nice. Of you. The community already existed, man. You guys, you know, we are thankful you guys came to our show. Yeah, and that's kind of provocative, too. Add our own sauce. You think Ahsoka show, the antagonist will be Maul looking for Kenobi? Uh, no. And the wait he thinks ahsoka might know where he is it'd be dope for them to have a rematch if luke shows up they <laughs> dude oh man that was a good one that was a good one makes you think yo i just got an idea yeah <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna do it uh i think i'm gonna move my lazy boy chair up here <laughs> <laughs> Just for like watch parties and like these Yo. long ass streams, just so like, just just my hips just keep getting so locked Dude, up. That is the most shit. you shit I've ever heard. <laughs> so like, oh yeah, my that's, god, that's I think the best oh, idea I've ever I had. Can't wait, dude. That'd be amazing. I'll just be like chilling. Like, yeah, dude. Wow, and I can like move that'd it here and there. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. That'd be fun. It's gonna be a bitch to carry upstairs, but yes, yes, it will be. Figure it out. Uh, thank you, Star Wars series, for being so lovely and anti toxic. You've made me love the prequels way more and like the last one. <laughs> 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 so so yeah, thanks, Gabby. Yeah, that's nice of you. <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys remember, you guys remember OG Ben Doji from oh, Hardware oh. Wars? No. I don't know what that is. Is that a real thing? I don't know. Dude. Josh, bro, you want new Star Wars? Give the High Republic another chance. The audiobooks are amazing, man. Ugh. Just read Brotherhood or listen to Brotherhood. Yeah, I just don't think uh, I don't think the High Republic's for me. I've tried a couple of different things, and it's just it doesn't really seem like it's for me. Um, and also, like when I say new, like 
High Republic is also kind of wedged uh, right before the prequels, essentially, right? So it still is it still has to adhere to a bunch of different things. And I don't want like you know rewrites, retcons, or like finagling to make it fit. Like I want an unabated story, unabated creativity. So I think something in the far future would be the way to go. Read it. Read that one. Uh, what up, guys? At the hospital, my girlfriend just gave birth to my beautiful baby girl. Watching you with her. Wish me luck. Dude, that's yes. awesome, bro. Good for you. That's cool, man. I um, hope she lives a great, happy, healthy life and becomes a nerd theory fan. <laughs> Absolutely. No, that's super fun, man. I'm looking forward to that. Much. <coughs> Sorry. Bless your heart. <laughs> It's Nick Mate says, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited about Kenobi Gallery almost more than the show. What? I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited about Kenobi Gallery more. Oh, the the behind the scenes? Probably. Probably a little stuff with Hayden. Hmm. I probably think Cal Castus is, and where would he rank? Because it seemed like he has a lot of potential given his experience and age. I think he'd probably be like a... For all Jedi during the prequels, an original trilogy, he's probably like a seven, six point five, six six seven. That sounds at best. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fair. I'd say Ezra is a four. <laughs> this guy's four is dump. He says, Mama always said Star Wars is like a box of chocolates. You never <laughs> know what you're gonna get. It's true, man. Uh la- Yo, fuck stop. God damn it. Last stream on Theories Arcade, I said I have a MF Doom mask tatted that also looks like Millennium Falcon. Josh, can you tell Theory who MF Doom is? I don't think Theory knows of him. Yeah, so he was a, a rapper. He would wear like a Dr. Doom mask. I actually think he passed, unless I'm mistaken. I think he died. Um, but yeah, he was sick. He also did some really cool features on some songs. Like in, He was on a Gorilla song that was really popular. I forget. Oh, that's crazy. I thought he was... Uh, dude, I was like trying to decipher that. I thought it was, he was saying Millennium Falcon, Doom Mask. I'm like... No, no, no. Oh. MF, Doom, MF Doom was a rapper. He was he was pretty chill. Pretty cool. Cool. Well, may he rest in peace if he's, mm-hmm. uh, if he's mm-hmm. not around anymore. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the average cost of raising a child to age 18 was 233610 as of 2015. Also, Luke Soka is love. Luke Soka is life. Department of Agriculture. What do they know? Yeah, what? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. That's funny though. Two hundred. Geez, and that's probably American too. It's like four hundred grand. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be a cheap date. You know what I mean? Like that's why I'm thinking he needs to start like pulling his weight around here asap. You know, it's rewarding doing some chores. You know, making some thumbnails. Maybe even get him on a vid or something. You know. <laughs> start making. Uh, the kid. Yeah. Would you find it viable for Disney to create an Old Republic trilogy, or would you most like to see in the future for Star Wars? Hmm. Yeah, Old Republic trilogy would be neat. Josh, you should get your kid to do those toy unboxings. Yeah, Have that could be fun. Yeah, those channels blow up. Insane, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, one of them wasn't one of them like the most like one of the top channels in the world. Yeah, like literally one of the top channels in the year, like making twenty mil a year or some shit. Like, oh, more than that, man. Probably like endorsements and stuff, dude. They, like each yeah. toy that they unbox, which is literally their video topic, they probably yeah. would get paid so much money. That's, yeah, that's insane. True. That that's is true. like that's just mind blowing. Mm-hmm. Ever see um, Bat in the Sun? Vader versus Batman. Eight have, out of ten. Yeah, it was good. Is that, is that a fan film? Mm-hmm. Maybe I have seen it. Yeah, it was good. It was cool. It was cool. You Doctor Strange 2 was good, but the writing was subpar at best. I bet Cumber Biatch was shaking his head like, I have to read this baloney. I mean, so obviously I disagree, but um, it's fair that you have uh, a, a different opinion. We can all get along here and also screw you. Theory from a bearded bald guy keep the beard and grow it all scraggly tough. Yeah, I'm. It, I feel like it's fitting the 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 uh, firearm vibe. <laughs> That's fair. I gotta stop, dude. I'm I'm buying too many. Yeah, you're buying too many guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. That's it's, like it's stop. a very expensive like a, hobby. It. I am becoming a collector at this point. It's not mm-hmm. good. 
it's like mm-hmm. yeah i'm becoming stupid that's a lot of americans a lot of americans do that collect guns mm-hmm. it's just it's so beautiful i don't know i just like i just like looking at them and like testing them out at the range and like you know just practicing with them and mm-hmm. zeroing them in or like getting an upgrade on them or whatever. like it's just so fun yeah yep i agree uh, let's see here. Was there ever a force user more powerful than full power Anakin in lore, not in legends? Um, I would say Revan, depending on if oh. what you consider to be canon. Revan oh, was yeah. very, dude. Revan literally brings himself back to life. Revan was very powerful, dude. Like absurd. So it would depend on what was considered canon from that story, but. I don't think so. I'm gonna say no, because then they wouldn't be. They would be the chosen one. Hmm. According to the real sequel trilogy, Leia is the chosen one, not Anakin. If that's true, the chosen one was robbed of her destiny. What do you think about that? Um, I think that there are different chosen ones for different times. Hmm. Hmm. And George had always said that Anakin was the chosen one, and if Leia was going to be the chosen one of the sequel trilogy, dope. Yeah, I don't Anakin know. did his job as the chosen one and saved yeah. Luke at the end, and you know, got rid of the Empire and, and Insidious. Cool. Yeah, prophecy's tricky. Theory: Why do you like Anakin so much as a character? Do you relate to him at all? Also, stoked for Celebration. I will be there. Dude, have fun at Celebration, and yeah, uh, he is my favorite character. I do relate to him a lot. Yeah, as I've mentioned in vid- in many videos in detail. Great detail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you guys watched Dune? We did. Yeah, we mm-hmm. live streamed mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. Watch mm-hmm. party. It's an amazing sci-fi book and movie. I feel like Star Wars got a lot of inspiration. It, it did. It did. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I've also been deep diving into the lore of Warhammer Forty K, and that lore <sighs> takes a lot from Dune as well. So it's it's pretty interesting. Dune was heavily influential. <sighs> Imagine Kevin Feige and KK swap franchises. No thanks. Star Wars is dope and MCU fell off. KK will say it's hard to make Marvel movies because there's no source material. Josh yeah. will come Walter White screaming in the basement. Oh, yeah, for sure. I would rage out so hard. I'd become happy. Yeah. Yeah, but dude, I again, like, I don't know if Kevin Feige is. You can't just take someone who's good at one thing and put them into Star Wars and be like, it's going to be great. No, it doesn't sound You can't works. necessarily. No, for sure. You can't necessarily guarantee that. But if he does. And it is amazing. Then we will have to admit he's an, just probably the best producer of all time. Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi? Oh, for me, uh, not as a soccer player, but uh, his life, Ronaldo. <laughs> I don't know nothing about these dudes. That guy has the best life, I think, on the face of the planet. Or at least one, in my opinion. Are the I assume these are soccer players. You don't know who Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi is? I think I've heard of Messi. You American. Yeah. You exactly. typical American scum. Bro, we don't care about <laughs> soccer, bro. We don't uncultured we don't. swines. We don't care about that. It's uh, football, actually. Uh, CBD for the pain, SWT. Look up Sunset Lake CBD. Mm. Thanks, man. Well, CBD for the pain, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, but I want to open it up. Like, I want to stretch out and get work done. Yeah, get, like, that would be helpful as well. That would yeah. be great for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's just uh, the city. Disney Star Wars is just fanfic with high VFX budget and low writing budget. It's not actually Star Wars. So they can make Jar Jar Anakin's father for all I care. It's not real Star Wars, so we don't need to be sad. Hmm, that's an interesting take. That is an interesting take. What do you think? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. So maybe you won't be that upset about Kenobi because you're like... I've already disassociated everything Disney does. Hmm, okay. So yeah, like in my head, I have... A category of like real Star Wars. Um, this is my opinion: real Star Wars, which is one to six, and the Clone Wars, and then I have after that, which is the Disney stuff. And whatever I like, I will move into the subcategory under the real Star Wars in my head, mm. and I'll be like, okay, this this also is cool. 
So like I'll just like kind of I'll pick and choose whatever I want, and I'll just instead of taking everything. Like seven, eight, nine never happened in my head. Even though, but I also recognize that in canon they did. Are you frozen? No, I was just in thinking about it. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, I, like, I, like I know yeah. they did. Like I know that's canon, but in my head, canon. It's a totally different world. It's a world I like to live in. To me, like canon's not even really the issue. Honestly, it's not even canon. It's the fact that they're going to keep making Star Wars stuff. I like Star Wars, but it's getting to the point where I'm having trouble getting excited about Star Wars in a way that I wish I was. So it's it's not even like canon's not even the problem. It's like, can I even get excited about future Star Wars stuff? You know, so that's kind of like what I'm more worried about. Oh, I'm definitely less excited. Yeah. Like if you just look at my overall excitement uh, about stuff, you know, compared to maybe a few years ago, I was pumped. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. And if it's dope, oh my God, like, yeah, you will see the child in me just erupt. But um, I'm pretty composed at this point where I'm like, okay, let's just go in there. Let's do our thing. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just like, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like, like it hurt. But you know what's funny? It's like, so like, you know, I kind of feel like people like you and I are, are kind of the canary in the coal mine, though, because I know not everybody agrees, but I don't think we're haters at all. And I just think that we like good Star Wars and we really have a strong attachment to it. And by the way, we rode with the sequels for most of that trilogy. Uh, we try to be very fair. And even coming out of Rise, I think that we were both uh, pretty fair about the movie. We both actually liked it at first. And uh, I think that we should be the canary in the coal mine. Like, I think Star Wars should be looking at fans like us and saying, like, if there's if if like their anticipation, energy and hype levels are dropping, then we're clearly doing something wrong because we're not connecting with that group of folks. Uh, because like I'll just tell you, man, like the the amount of money I used to spend on Star Wars and the amount of money I spend on Star Wars now, it is like. It's crazy. Like it's crazy, and I buy a I buy a ton of shit. You know what I mean? But I buy nowadays. What do I buy? Marvel. You know what I mean? Like what what is there? You know, I buy the old Star Wars stuff, so I'm buying like the stuff when George is around. That's just me, man. I'm just you know I I was so enamored when I was a kid with Star Wars and Lucasfilm, and you know I wanted to work for Lucasfilm. I wanted to that was like my dream job. You know, kids wanted to be a freaking fireman or whatever. I wanted to make lightsabers for. Um, Lucasfilm mm -hmm. for ILM. That's what I wanted to do. And it just feels different now. You know, the whole do company you, feels different now. Do you buy a lot of Disney Star Wars product? No. But you did probably when the sequels were coming out. I had a Kylo Ren mask. You bought the, the Force Awakens came and out. And yeah, the, I bought the art uh, books. Yeah, encyclopedias. And... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it was very yeah. yeah. But like even this like boba uh, gallery thing, like I, I, it's so unlike me to not watch that, you know. And be, that's like, what I'm saying. First like, on that stuff to watch, yeah. you know. I used to be first on the comics. Mm -hmm. I remember they would come out at midnight, and I'd be like just waiting for that. I'd put like like reminders in my calendar. I'd have alarms. I'd be ready to go. And now like I'm just like whatever. Yeah, but it's even affected like my stuff beyond even like Disney stuff or whatever, right? Like if I play like if I was to play a, a video game or if I was to play a card game or get a collectible or something, it's just like like it's literally diminished my desire to, you know, make purchases and, and do things like that. You know I will I mean? say I will say this: it does make it more, in a way, positive and exciting when something happens that I really do like, because it's like that now connects me back to what I wish this whole thing would have been from the beginning, and like how I felt when I was a kid, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like when when I get a, a book that I like really enjoy, mm -hmm. like Brotherhood so far, for example, mm -hmm. I, I really f with it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if a show comes out like Mandalorian that I'm like really vibing with and I'm like this feels like Star Wars to me like what George created I will push that you know all the way forwards um, but if there's something that I just really think is so far from 
George's vision and just so far from the very essence of what I feel like Star Wars is like, because everyone has a different, um, there's no objective like this is Star Wars. Everyone has a different relationship with Star Wars. And for me to say that like my relationship is more than someone else's or my version or definition of Star Wars is the definition is just totally ridiculous. So for me, if something comes out that I just don't vibe with, like The Last Jedi, um, I just don't count it in my head. I just yeah. don't. No, you know, I, look, I, I get what you're saying. I'm just, I guess, like speaking for me, and I think this, this, I think this data is actually bared out in a lot of other instances. Like, I don't know, when's the last time you went to like a Target or like a Walmart and like looked at the Star Wars section of toys compared to like the other section of toys? Um, never. Yeah, so it's a shadow of what it once was. Do you know what I mean? And it's I just... would I would seek out different stores when I was a kid for the Star Wars sections. Mm -hmm. Well, like I remember walking into Targets and stuff in like 2015, and it literally being everywhere. You know what I mean? And yeah. having whole sections of the store yeah. dedicated to Star Wars merch and things of that nature. And nowadays, yeah. like like literally, Sonic Two has more merchandise uh on the yeah, toy strange show. strange you know what i mean yeah so i, I see that for kenobi which is interesting you know which is kind of cool i, I mean i was literally just kenobi. out there looking for kenobi to be honest with you uh stuff and i didn't really see much or get much oh really okay yeah. i know I, I see more for kenobi that's for sure but i remember when the force awakens was coming out that's it was like everywhere mm -hmm. everywhere you know but now it's um yeah i'm just I never w would like to be deemed as a hater of Star Wars because, well, first of all, you know, um, from a channel standpoint and creator standpoint, we don't make our money on hating Star Wars. We make our money. No, on we don't. Talking about how great Star Wars is and how it, it has always meant to us. So even from a business standpoint, if you can call it that, um, that's totally against what we're trying to do you know yes in a and sense i want star wars to win i always want it to win sure. i want i want it to be i want it to feel as important as it felt to me when i was a kid for everybody today you know and, and i want every nerd th that i connect with or that i was like um as a kid today i want everyone to be accepted the way you know many star wars fans back in that day weren't mm -hmm. you know and i think that's a shift that's actually happening is because it's becoming so mainstream that you're seeing a lot of people being really accepted for liking star wars like oh you like star wars okay dope i love star wars like it's not like how it was in the 90s where like for me at least in, in where i lived i felt like you know if you like star wars you get made fun of for it yeah no i look i i get what you're saying man it's like this is another reason why it's so hard for me is because like I'm not about to turn into a Star Wars bashing channel. Like, that's not me. That's not my brand. And I hate to, like, just, I don't want to be perceived as a downer or I don't want to be, like, you know, putting that energy out there. But, like, I just, that's what I was saying was, like, I, I wish that people like you and I, and I think a lot of, you know, just regular ass fans and folk were considered something like a canary in the coal mine because I do think there's just, a lot of damage that's going on and for me personally it manifests in different consumer behavior like i'm just literally off put from some of the purchases that i used to make and there's like bro like i'm not interested in any mandalorian art books i'm not i'm not interested in oh any really oh i got no those. no zero interest for me it's oh, i wow. feel okay. yeah and i feel like in some ways like you're not going to get me again basically is kind of how i feel because of all the purchases i made during the sequel trilogy time period that like really left bad taste in my mouth after how that all ended and went down. And it's like, I want, like, I love Star Wars, man. You know, I want Star Wars to do really, really well. I just don't think they're listening to the fandom. You know what I mean? And I just don't know if they're, I mean, look, celebration is going to be a big test. Like next weekend to. we'll have more answers. But uh, from where I'm sitting right now, man, I'm, I'm not in a, I'm not in a positive, I'm not in a positive place. You know what I mean? With it. So. I don't think they need to listen to the fandom. I think they just need to listen to the story that's already been told. And I think they need to hire, be a little more selective with the people that they hire. Um, you know, everyone wants, if you're in that industry, everyone wants to work on Star Wars. You know, who the hell does not? Like, 
I would argue now that's not really the case. Well, I would argue that it's it's still something that's, you know, um, very sought after. Like you put that on your resume that you you made you made a Star Wars like, oh, my God, you know, that's amazing. And if and if you talk to all your friends and family about it and they're going to be like, oh, dude, go do it like you, you, you like you could do it, blah, blah, blah. They're going to take that. But it's like I think they got to be a little more selective or at least um, if they're not selective, then, you know, have more rules. Perhaps they have Dave kind of being a little more hands on with the movies or the projects or whatever it may be, because he really is the guy that sets the boundaries, I think, for um, this franchise going forward. He's the closest thing we have to George Lucas. And I think he should be treasured, really, when it comes to telling the stories. Not the story group, not this and that, not anybody else, but Dave mm-hmm. Filoni. Like, let's not F around here. This is the guy that will carry on what was once started what was created by the creator Mm -hmm. you know this isn't anybody else's story this is george's story and i think it should be held to uh to that criteria yeah yeah i guess it's just like it's just a it's a difficult spot to be in you know what i mean because like i want to just i want to I want to be honest you know what i mean and it's well, like be honest man it's it's it be feels honest. like it's sure yeah think. no i am i am i'm just saying like i want to try to be optimistic and hopeful but i don't know i mean look next weekend could change this next weekend could totally be uh exactly what i'm looking for and have a ton of awesome things to look forward to and i, I, I so. hope that's the I, case but i i think you're gonna have to wait until the last episode well i just want announcements look at Boba. Well, look, what I'm saying is like next weekend for celebration, mostly like those announcements, like depending on what kind of energy comes out of celebration, the, depending on what it seems like they're doing, because like, look, my worst case, my worst case scenario for celebration is basically them being like more of the same. We're just doing what we've been doing for the last five to six years. And I will be like, what? Uh, I'd love some kind of um, new direction, some kind of new hope, some kind of, uh, you know, something that I can really like. I, I basically essentially need a reason to sort of pivot my perspective and to think that it'll be different. You know what I mean? Moving forward. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm hopeful that that, that that would be really great. But if it comes kind of flat or if it feels like they're just kind of doing the same old thing, like I'll just kind of, you know, do my thing, cover the shows and uh, be excited for what I can be within Star Wars. But it's not the same, bro. It's not the same uh no you know that it used to be and uh, but i mean you know there are certain projects that feel really great like rogue one like um um, mandalorian uh so i mean it's not like it's hope is completely lost no it's not completely hit or miss yeah it's hit or miss but i think that it would take um it would take again a pivot point to get me to engage in the brand in the way that i had before you know what i mean and so i actually think that's probably very similar for a lot of different folks out there maybe to varying degrees but uh it's just it's it's wild uh to me uh that they might not even see that there's a problem you know what i mean so well all we can do is cross our fingers going forwards yeah 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 did we read elijah's Yes, I think this is, uh, okay. in a sense, what just took us down that whole diatribe. So. Is it? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will the rule of two interviews with the creators and actors come back with Mark? Also, will you release Vader episode two fan film? <laughs> will I release? Will I film it? Is the question. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll film it. That's definitely going to happen. Just yeah, it'll take some years and uh, a lot of cash for one man, but it'll happen, man. Yeah, um, got this. A rule of two interviews. If we get a guest that comes along that wants to do it, yeah, sure. But uh, we don't have any, so. Someday. Someday. You guys are the perfect rule of two, in my opinion. It is kind of funny how we've, like, shifted. I feel like I've shifted to the dark side, and you're a little Well, more... you you know something I don't, right? So it's... True. If I'd be curious, to see, I mean, I guess in several weeks, I'll be able to really chime in and be like, you know, mm-hmm. yo, I totally would have agreed with you kind of thing. Or no, like this is not really like that bad or. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens.
Greetings, exalted ones. What's up, Grand Adderall Thrawn? You know the drill. What was Luke's call sign when he, ha, that he uses to commune, to comment to Han in the start of ESB? Side note, the idea of Reva is helping introduce other Inquisitors and hold a mug's worth of vacuum. I agree. Yeah, it's a really weird take, but that's okay. Um, his comp to Han, it wasn't red five. Or no, it was yellow. It was yellow, uh, it was yellow leader. And it was yellow. Yeah, I think it was yellow leader. I think it was yellow leader. I think it was yellow leader. Was it yellow leader? Chat? Let us know, chat. Hey, chat, let us know, chat. I love these little quizzes he does. Yeah. Thank you guys for all that you do. Uh, you both inspired me to start my YouTube Star Wars channel. My first video will be vlogs cool. from Celebration next week. My man. Right on, man. Have fun with it. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yellow leader, somebody said. Yeah. Yellow leader? Was it yeah. gold? Gold leader? Was no. it gold leader or yellow? No. Gold leader? I don't think it was gold, was it? I think it was yellow. Maybe it was gold. So I'm remembering the color and it was like a gold, but I just I remember yellow. He says echo three to echo seven. No. No, he doesn't. Who said that? I don't even know Star Wars. Yeah, I think that might be it too. I don't know. Christopher Nolan should call up Disney and just say, let me take over and show you how to make Star Wars movies. Um, do, I mean, Nolan's a great filmmaker, but could he do great Star Wars? Yeah, that's be... the thing. How to keep Luke safe. Kenobi freezes him in carbonate and buries him in the sand next to Shmi. Vader would suspect nothing. That's a great strat. If he would have been a kid forever. Josh, I was a badass football player in high school, hurt my hip. Now I'm 33 with hip replacement. I feel your pain, but man, did it lead to me expanding my mind as well. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a good take. Yeah, it was weird, man. It was really, really weird. And to this day, obviously, that knee is still, I mean, it's obviously much better than it was, but like, yeah, it's just kind of different, man. It's just kind of different, but took uh, an arrow to the knee. Yeah, this dude, we were doing a hit drill, and he went so low that his shoulder pad hit below my knee and blew my knee out the back. And then I didn't get surgery because I was still like very muscular. So I was able to kind of like just hold that knee together. And then I was playing basketball and I came down on a with a for a rebound, fall my weight on that leg, and it buckled out to the left, and it buckled out to the right, and it was all gone after that. I was like damn. It was all gone, yeah. It was rough. Yo, wife surprised me this weekend with tickets to Celebration plus photo op with Timur Morrison. Wish you guys could be there. Love what y'all do. Oh, that's sick, dude. I wish I could be there, too. It's probably going to be one of the most fun celebrations. It's I Yeah, I think it's going to be a really, really good one. For sure. Man, y'all some dicks. How are you not going to reply to a first-time watcher? But everyone else... What you um, mean? I don't know. Whatever. What you mean? Because he feels entitled. Big love from Ireland again, guys. Happy 20 year Annie. Get it of Attack of the Clones. 10 days to Kenobi. Loving all the Hayden interviews. Can I do? I'm loving the Hayden interviews, man. The Hayden interviews are beautiful. They're heartwarming, yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful. Any chance for Red Hit 66 hat, not Strucker? So if Kenobi show sucks. We pin our hopes on Ahsoka show. Love you guys. May the force be with you. No, if Kenobi show sucks, I mean, we... Uh, There'll we be a grieving be period. We There'll be it, a grieving period. We let it be known verbally how we feel. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I can do... I can I can add those hats for sure. Yeah. No problem. Guys, I'm on... Guys, I'm no Disney sim, but I can't help but feeling like there's toxicity around unseen content. So far, we've gotten Mando, Ahsoka, and Bad Batch as dubs. Uh, be cautiously optimistic, not so negative. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fair, man. It's like, you know, I'm trying to sort of walk that line of like not just totally dogging it or saying like it's over. Because in some ways, you know, in some crazy twist, by really lowering my expectations, I might actually just love the show. And if it's executed in a way that I think is really cool, maybe I'll be like, yo, that was sick. So uh, maybe it'll end up being okay. Um, but I also just, 
like I just can't help it, man. I've made two videos at this point. I've pretty thoroughly explained uh, why it's, it bothers me so much. And I don't think I'm alone. So um, I'm trying over here. Yeah, I'm not here to gatekeep toxicity or, or whatever. I mean, if you want to act a certain way, I'm not going to label you as toxic or not. Um, I, I, whenever someone says the word toxic in all seriousness, I kind of just run the other way because I, I, I feel like I'll lose IQ points. Um, so whatever people think about it is whatever they think about it. What I think about it is I'm going to go into it open-minded and enjoy the show for as long as I can until something happens where it maybe not or maybe i'll have something to say about it we'll see what happens it is crazy though how this happened like i still kind of can't believe this happened like the way that like the discourse is right now and like the the way that everything's going for the show like it's oh people are acting like it's the worst show in the world already 40 minutes. yeah it is and, and i agree that that's like like some of this to me does seem like it's a little out there and there are of course channels that are like rooting for it to lose and that are excited that this leak is out really? there because they're like oh yeah for sure of course dude you know stay like, away from everything man like anyway, i don't want to yeah. I, don't, I don't watch your videos i don't watch anybody's videos I don't yeah know, I don't know yeah it's wild man i mean look it'll we're about to go through it you know what i mean we are about to go now, what if it's amazing through it like what if it's absolutely amazing then i will be like yo Deborah Chow deserves all the praise in the world. This is incredible. Uh, you know, the whole team involved, this writer dude, absolutely incredible. Like, I will, I will sing their praises to high heaven and I will uh yeah, I'll go to bat for the show and I'll be like, yo, Star Wars is literally turning it around. That's that's what you know what I mean? Yeah. So hey fellas, love y'all's content made my own channel a year ago, but struggled to balance content creating and being a single dad with a full-time job. Advice on y'all. How y'all first balance making content with personal lives? Um, yeah, that can be difficult for you for sure. Um, I would say just try to get a video out a week if you can, or you know, whenever you can. Mm -hmm. For me, I uh, I did it very unhealthily where I I didn't sleep. Um, I didn't, I just kind of stopped eating. I was eating like one meal a day. I didn't hang out with friends. I didn't go on dates. Mm -hmm. I stopped working out. I just sat at my computer nonstop. And then I would, you know, I wouldn't even go to my bed. I would just, my couch was like right there. I lived in a very, very small apartment. My couch was right there. I would just crash on the couch and then I would wake up whenever I'd wake up. Usually the sun was already up when I went to bed and, um, and then I'd get right back to it. Yeah, man. When I was trying to grind to become full time, I didn't go out like at all i didn't go like on weekends with friends i i worked at my job and then i came home i worked on youtube and it, i had no work-life balance i just worked constantly and uh it was a lot of it was a lot you know what i mean and i i luckily didn't have like a lot of the obligations that i have now mm -hmm. um and i was able to just do it so i think that you know you got to do what is realistic for you but i think you also have to understand that like what you're trying to do is statistically speaking pretty difficult and you will need to make that up somewhere you either need to get lucky you need to be like overtly and incredibly recognizably skilled or you need to work your ass off and uh only one of those things is probably the one that you can control uh and that's working your ass off so yeah, I don't know if that answers your question or not, but uh, yeah, it's tough. Just have fun with it, man. For me, one thing that was really driving me was the fact that I was able to talk to Star Wars fans again. And I remember when I made my first video, I I looked back at the uh, I forgot about the channel, and I checked back and I saw the comments and I saw that there were Star Wars fans, and I was like, this is really cool, and I really. Um, there was a lot of dopamine that was released whenever I would make another video and I would see comments from a lot of you guys and I thought it was like the coolest thing in the world because I hadn't experienced that since I was a teenager, you know, on Star Wars forums and stuff. So it was nice. Um, it was cool. It's a nice feeling. And of course, there's a huge, I think, correlation with like dopamine and views and, and, um, you know your your video getting out there and comments yeah. and likes and i i think that's very addictive it's almost like 
it's almost like gambling in a sense because it's just like yeah you'll make a video and it like hits big or like one and it doesn't and it's not popular but you like put so much time into it mm -hmm. and then you like are down and then you put up another video and you're just like oh my god it's doing great like this is great mm -hmm. like you, you want people to see your work it's like it's like your art in a sense you know you design a video you write the script you edit it a certain way uh, you put the music you know in a certain spot and like it's, it's, there were parts where i would put like the music louder or, or, or quieter and it would transition to another song i was very anal with everything that i did and um there was more that went into it than just you know like script record boom yeah um so it really meant a lot whenever you know um, a video was well received and people got to see my work so yeah, and, and sure. i kind of was addicted to that feeling it does get addicting I, I but i think that most things that like you fall in love with or that you end up doing for a career it should be addicting like no professional gamers probably just think games are okay like they love games you know what i mean like there's no professional yeah. basketball players that like don't love basketball so uh yeah if you love it man oh, if you dude. fall in for it like yeah go 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 Thank go very much yeah go 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 is it legal to write star wars fanfic kindle books no, nope. uh, I can't. I can't give you any legal advice, man. I'm not a lawyer, and, and uh, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I don't think it is. Can't give you legal advice. Hey guys, what is the slowest chase in Star Wars history? Last Jedi starship chase or the Book of Boba? I think the Book of Boba. No, the, the I think the Last Jedi one is slower. The Book of Boba. No, because if you those starships were moving probably oh, so they were looking they were moving so fast so even though it looked like they were looked slow super slow they were up. probably covering so much distance you know because they were just so oh, huge man. 11 days till kenobi viewing parties you know, man. I'm very excited r1 equals rogue one ot is next oh, okay 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 gotcha uh oh my goodness uh when will josh start the stream wait what what are you talking what? about we're streaming right now what are you talking about i thought we were buds josh now you dread my super chats lol thanks for having my back theory seriously i enjoy the stream every week thanks guys yeah yeah brent i'm just playing dog josh and i are like good and cop and bad cop and we switch roles and i just like to be crazy and wild don't take anything i say seriously in any stream um but also i always speak the truth crossover theory daniel and johnny from cobra kai would they be dark side or light side and how proficient would they be no let's go dragon ball z style they'd fuse Ooh. fusion Ooh, i like that major love to you guys from norcal y'all always making my monday something i look forward to also what if maul killed kenobi instead of qui-gon hmm anakin... <laughs> galaxy would probably be a better place yeah and anakin would have been all right yeah anakin would have been okay yep uh what's your guys thoughts on lucasfilm pushing away from the whole canon thing and just making standalone stories kind of like how legends was <sighs> why not yeah, both? Uh, it's good and bad yeah why not both it's bad in the sense that you know they can do a lot of damage to a lot of different characters if they don't <laughs> do it right kind of thing yeah, yeah um you know as they're milking it or whatever telling these different stories and it's good because we get to see more of our characters that we love and if it's done great then dope very rarely do i catch this live do you guys believe kanan would win mall in open area instead of being on the pyramid and just using the ledge as vanished no dude sorry kanan's not that guy no <laughs> Kane is no. not that guy. Deva. Anybody in chat? I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you, Nick. And can't wait Thanks, to see Hayden bro. back. May the force be with you. May the force be with yeah. you. Too. May the force be with you. Only a few more days, man. Yo, Nia and Josh, love you both. I love the new pins. Just ordered one question. Oh, so they're available? It's cool. Thanks, man. A question for both of you. Have you thought about selling stickers? I can think of many places to put them. Uh, yeah, I actually sell stickers and decals on my Teespring. Right on. Yeah, Order 66 ones, yeah, all that stuff. Right on. Yeah. Isaac says, hey, Theory. Hope all is well with you and your family. First time commenting on your stream. Real quick, though, I am wondering if you 
were ever featured in a Chalk Wars video. So hyped for Kenobi. What the hell is that? Oh, uh, yeah, man. That was me in Chalk Wars 4 with Jamie Costa. I don't know what that is. Oh, dude, it's the best. You got to check out Chalk Wars on YouTube. There's four of them. So crispy media is the best. How come it's so out of character for Luke to give up and leave, and it's normal for Anakin to stay just slay children and kill everyone he spent his life with. So out of character for Luke to give up and leave, and it's normal for Anakin's Anakin turned into Darth Vader and he was doing that. The the point was for Anakin to completely change character and to do something that he wouldn't normally do. Whereas Luke was supposed to be the same dude and he was just doing something that it just didn't make any sense and that not for a Jedi to do. Yeah. Especially not Luke, you know. Yeah, I think it's kind of a weak example because Anakin killing all the children, knowing that he becomes Darth Vader, feels completely right for the character. And Luke doing what he did feels completely wrong for the character. So it's like you're trying to make a moral equivalence on one end and a story equivalence on the other end. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, I mean, that's, you know, the point. Anakin to be doing something against his normal um personality yeah i don't i don't get it revenge of the sith anakin makes me question my sexuality don't we all right on uh i just tweeted both of you that you in interview okay cool oh cool you want to bring it up any updates on kotor also love the beard my guy uh, uh, i don't think so i don't see it big super chat from austin but he says nothing well we appreciate it man thank you I don't see it. I don't think he did tag me on tweeters. He lied. What a butthole, man. Yeah, but this was probably like an hour ago. Yeah, but I'd still be able to see it. Oh. Blank check was the shit and under wraps. Right on. Best MTG plane for a D&D &D game? Ravnica would be cool. Ravnica would be cool. Um, mm, I don't know. I like what they just did with... Um, the like neon dynasty one kamigawa or what's the plane that soren's from innistrad that would be fun too that would be fun the phantom apprentice phantom apprentice what's that sounds cool josh bet your leaks on bet or bet rather your bet your hair on the leaks of kenobi if you're that confident also love your theory and josh no because here's the difference there's only one guy claiming that these leaks are real. Now that one guy has a pretty good track record, okay? But when it came to the other stuff, it was a myriad of people. I'm not going to bet my hair on one guy. Creators of JFO didn't want main character Afra or female. Mm -hmm. Creators of JFO didn't want main character Af African or female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this yeah, did you hear about this controversy that happened? no yeah so like it was I, I honestly don't even know how real it is it seems like an older story based on some comments and maybe some people from the studio or whatever but uh yeah they wanted to make cow like a white male okay yeah my thoughts exactly what's your point no there is there is no point that's the thing there's no point if people are making it a big thing out is there not okay to, say, to do well, apparently not. Like people are saying that it's like racist. What's wrong and with sexist. Cameron Monaghan? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. He's a great actor. Yeah, I think that whole story was blown uh, way out of proportion, and that uh, cast of characters is also incredibly diverse. And uh, yeah, they just had an, a vision for Cal as a uh, as a white male character, and I just don't understand the outrage. Who or, fucking cares? Uh, yeah, who does care? What do I care if he's black or white? Like, I don't care. I like my my favorite game is uh, Detroit Become Human. Marcus is black. Mm -hmm. What do I care? It's a dope character. It's a dope game. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just weird, man. I don't, I don't get it. I think it's like another one of those Twitter things. People are just fighting because they want to fight. I don't know. Whatever. People just um, mad. Is curious anything with the creators of or not wanting to make the main character be female or African American? Or just read that. Okay. Thanks for sending it twice, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. 
Um, well, now I did. I did not see it. Now Josh is just informed me. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of what I said about Obi mentioning Ahsoka to Anakin, and it would have made it worse on Annie's case against how the Jedi are evil because the Jedi didn't believe Ahsoka. What? Oh, I mean, I get what you're saying, but I just think that's so far from Anakin's mind at that point. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I don't think it's really affecting much of all. Oh, I see. Dude, that wouldn't have made no difference. Yeah. At all. Anakin yeah, yeah. was so intertwined in the dark side. He knew what he needed to do. So. Yeah. Yeah. In episode six, when Luke asks Vader to go with him and responds, you don't know the power of the dark side. I must obey my master. Was Vader more afraid to try and leave? I always feel like he's somewhat of Anakin in that scene. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of Anakin, but yeah, like that's just, that's the, the sort of the way that the dark side works. It's like, that's the way that the rule of two works. Like he has to obey his master until he senses weakness and then he kills him and becomes the master. So um i think there's something to be said for how bound he is to the dark side you know but uh yeah what do you think um i feel like in a sense he was afraid because he knew at this point that he would never be as powerful as the emperor that's fair yeah, yeah. i think that's fair i think maybe not afraid but he just knew that it's not going to end too well for him and that he has already done so much in the dark side that there's really no going back. Yeah. Whether he regrets it or not. True. Big love from Sunshine Coast, Australia. Can't wait for celebration. More tactical theory, please. And thank you. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to everyone who subscribed and watching the videos on tactical theory. A huge surge of subs in there and views. It's absolutely crazy um, for such a new channel. But yeah, I appreciate it. And also with quote theory. <laughs> I love that channel too. Yeah, man. That's fun stuff. Yeah. You should make a theory about what if Vader fell in the portal with Ahsoka in the world between worlds. Ah, oh, that would be kind of fun. That'd be kind of fun. It'd be very interesting. Vader would be like, where am I? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> or just keep trying to... Place? And then Sidious like, sends his tendrils out. He's like, Lord Vader... What Lord the Vader. F are you doing here? You're in this place. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. We're about to take over the galaxy. I uh, love both your... No, you'd be like, quick, go over there and get my young body back. Mm -hmm. I need it for episode nine. <laughs> well, I love you both. Channels, love, both, love both your channels. Can't believe we're this close to Kenobi. It's crazy. Thanks for being y'all. Beard's looking great, by the way. Hey, your beard looks great too, man. Thanks, Nihilus. Kenobi's beard looks great. I'll tell you yeah. that. That was my inspiration to grow my beard back. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I got to I go, got to go but uh, there's a show. I can leave a link to both your discourses or chat or something so we could talk about it later. Yes, but I got to be honest. I don't even under remember what you I don't even remember about. what you were talking about. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. You guys are... Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Do you all think we'll be getting a trilogy in the Old Republic ever? I need Revan on the big screen. I mean, yeah, at this rate, they could be making anything. <laughs> you know, get Ahsoka and or all these other things. Why not make a Revan, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did George you watch Batman. Batman the Animated Series and what are some of your favorite episodes? Uh, I love the one where he gets turned back to young Bruce with uh, uh, the Lazarus Pit and uh talia and it ends up being Raish. that shit was awesome um there's a one where there's like a justice league that uh he and terry have to fight against that i love that one too oh wait no i'm talking bad I'm, I'm thinking batman beyond sorry batman animated series uh also had incredible stuff though um yeah love that stuff I've been thinking if Maul was in Kenobi, and I know he isn't. I feel like it would be a good chance for him and Vader to face off for a short time, but I think it would be too much. Thoughts? I think it would be a little too much, yeah. Too much going on there. Plus, Vader would have to kill him. So, Agreed. I think you almost killed me as a boy. 
flying over my head with your friggin' speeder. Mm -hmm. Theory been batty. Theory needs spanky. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? <laughs> what is that? I don't know, bro. That's wild. Yeah, you're wild as hell. Damn. In the Bad Batch episode 12, how was the clone Captain Hauser questioned uh, his superior about arresting Twi'leks with no cause? Good soldiers follows orders. I don't even remember this shit, dude. You're more of the Clone Wars guys than me. Yeah, so, Haus so Hauser was the, the, the new clone that every girl was like making TikToks over and like fawning over uh -huh. how, how hot he was. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. They never really dived into that. And that was something I was hoping that they would do. Maybe they'll do it in Bad Batch 2. Be like totally defied. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard anyone talk about Vader saying to Kenobi, you should not have come back in episode four. What do you guys think? Does this canonize Kenobi show? Yeah, it could. I mean, I always thought that maybe there was a time where they did fight in between there. Okay, so I found the interview. Uh, the homie sent it to me. You want to see what Ewan says about the YouTubers? Sure, yeah. Okay. Chat, you want to hear it? You want to see it? Boom. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Like the reactions to the trailers, the teaser trailer and then the real trailer. And there's all these people that sort of break it down and they, they're telling the they're telling their audience what the series is about. And you know, mainly they're wrong. So that's quite funny to watch. <laughs> but I don't really like to look on you know, I don't do social media or anything. I I, I just don't I don't have time for that. Yeah, see? They don't watch oh. us, man. Yeah, I don't even know. I, I mean, I don't even think he's really watching stuff, to be honest. Just like the <laughs> way that he says that. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Like, I feel like he just said that to like generally dismay anyone who is spreading leaks or spoilers or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally possible. To the you trailers, know, the teaser trailer, uh, look, and then the having movie. said that, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, most of the leaks are real. So, you know, it's funny because I guess they we'll say, know. I guess we'll know. Yeah, we'll know soon. We'll know soon. But uh, there it is. In your face, Josh? Oh, man. Yeah, no. This is definitely proves that everything's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I lost. I lost where we were. Damn it. Oh, Damn it, dude. So, wait. Do people really doubt the leaks, yo? Do people doubt the leaks? Let's. I, I don't know. I if he was know. talking about the leaks, I never talked about them, so he can't be talking about me. Right? Chat. Do you think that the put yes into the chat if you think the leaks are fake? I just want to know if you guys think the leaks are fake. Put yes into the chat. Uh, okay. Couple people. Couple people. So, you don't think that episode one starts out at Thor 66? Thor 66? Yeah. What's that? Order, Order 66. 66. I said yeah. Thor 66. So, a lot of people are saying yes, but there's a fair bit of people saying no. So, we'll watch the series. And if the first episode opens with Order 66 and two characters trying to escape, then you'll know that all or at least 90 percent of the leaks are real so we know immediately essentially ah oh, we read this one my lord big love from center we read this one too thank you darth eden read that one too read that one too make it out we read that one with that one with that one with that one jesus jesus oh yeah that that one though that that, that one, one, that one. That one again 
Okay, and I think this is where we were. All right. Let Sam Raimi direct Kenobi maybe make it look... Oh, so I had it on the... Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dark... But that was random. Yeah. Dark Phoenix versus full power Anakin. Oh, well, I mean... Dark Phoenix is pretty strong, bro. She can, like, disintegrate people's goddamn atoms. Yeah, she can also come back to life, like, instantly. So it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. New interview with Hayden and Ewan. Ewan says... There is a scene in the show where Vader approaches him yeah. from behind in the situation y'all think that will be. Um, I think there'll probably be some soft music playing. Oh, no, no. Don't even. I think there'll be a new. There you happen. Josh, I resonate so hard with that energy. Also, you guys hyped for bad boys. For boys? For the boys season three? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Boys season three looks sick, dude. It's going to be fun trailer was sweet josh why did you like the doctor strange movie it didn't love up to the hype for me. we're not going to talk about doctor strange anymore i'm done i've done several videos on it i love the film go check them out i'm not doing it anymore hey guys love the show and both your content much love from papua, papua new, guinea. new guinea holy crazy cow. Papua New Guinea is one of the only other countries in the world that doesn't have any form of real nationalized health care so that's the only other time I've heard of Papua New Guinea. That's when that stat gets thrown around. It kind of sounds like um, George's character name in Revenge of the Sith. What was it? Chat, what was his name again? It was like Papa something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking right? about. The, the blue dude. We did request about Cal Kestis and Starkiller. Did you, did you want to see a massacre? What, 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 poll, poll, poll. What do you guys want to poll? What are you yeah, guys no, even poll, polling? No, it's just one guy spamming. Ah. <sighs> about to get timed out and then hidden from the channel forever all agents deploying the middle east soon thanks for your service tommy wish you the best of luck out there with the boys some of us are star wars nerds and we are trying to figure out what game to bring og xbox to now mm. revenge of the sith yeah with the uh, battle battlefront or jedi fallen order battlefront 2 man battlefront 2 battlefront 2 was that ish I'd say God of War 4 if you had a PlayStation, but... He's asking about Star Wars games! Yeah, okay, but God of War 4 is amazing. Okay, fair. If you create a character on your own... of your, Actually, you would probably love it now that you're having a son. Dude. Play that game before your son comes out. Before your son, your son comes out. It's like he's a game. It's I like know, he's right? a release. His release date? What's his release date again? Yo, what's your son's release date, dude? You getting the special edition or are you going with the regular? Comes out early. Like, yo, Josh, son, leak. <sighs> yeah, there's leaks. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. You guys can create a character on your own, Jedi Bounty Hunter, etc. What's their name and story? Have you guys ever created a character of your own? Uh, I created my own lightsaber when I was a kid. Like, I drew it. So I'm sure I have the drawing. I know I have the drawing somewhere in my folder. Um, characters. Uh, I Yeah, I actually created a character for Vader Episode 2 that I don't want to share with you guys yet because it'll ruin it. Well, not ruin it, but it'll. I don't want to give anything away. But it's pretty cool. And I think I'm going to have Balin Levine play him. Mm, Spoiler! Nice, 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 nice. nice. Yeah. yeah, I would do probably a Doug bounty hunter. Just like some badass Doug. Going around blasts and fools. We're gonna find the American 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 merch theory that thanks to my brother for honoring my nation that I serve in the US Army. Hey, thanks for your service, Mark. I will release that probably June first. I think it's too early for right now. And I'll have it available and I'll try to make sure it, I'll try to have as much supply as I can of that, just so that they don't sell out, because I know that one's gonna go. Every July 4th, those everything that I put on there just gets decimated by you guys. But if there are different chosen ones for different times, why can't Revan be the chosen one of his time? Revan Trilogy for the win. I think uh, he meant to put Reva and uh, Reva Trilogy for the win. So, <laughs> As a good as guy a myself... <laughs> you are right. It's hell expensive. I also share your frustration as a left-handed shooter. Sub oh, to your wow, attack yeah. channel. Keep up the good work. Go for an M1 Grand deposit. M1 Grand is my favorite gun of all time. 
Yeah, so you have to get like different grips and sights and stuff for your lefties, or I mean, nope. I never thought about that. No, no. If there's a gun that's ambidextrous, I have to change the uh, bolt, like the action, to the mm. other side. Okay. Um, otherwise, like I mean, on my marksman rifle, I use it's a right hander, so I just just do what you got to do with your my right hand. It's not ideal, but make it work. Or I'll just start to shoot right handed for right handed guns. I mean, it's whatever hmm. yeah never thought about that putting a soaker between two to three feels force please argue no i disagree how does this company like respawn write star wars game story are lucasfilm and the team for those studios need to figure a story out themselves yeah they have to run it through disney Everything goes to Disney. It used to be it all just hit George's desk and he'd either sign off on it or no. And he'd usually like give some notes here or there, usually like faster, more intense. Um, yeah. Who's more powerful, Nihilus or Revan? Uh... I'd say Nihilus probably, yeah. Nihilus was pretty badass. I mean, that whole, like, devouring worlds thing by, like, sucking all the energy from it is kind of crazy. But yep. I don't know if they were to fight each other. I don't really know who would win. Can you even kill Nihilus, though? I thought he was, like, ethereal. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, why don't we ask Sawyer? Yo, Theory, you ever play No Man's Sky? Would be great. If I have played it once. And I got quite bored, actually. I returned the game. Thanks, Eric. Maybe I'll give us another shot someday. If they were to make a Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic movie, who should play Revan? I feel like Keanu Reeves would do really well. Yeah, for sure. It'd be fun. Yeah, Nihilus slaughters. Finally, something we can agree on, chat. God. Uh, saw your most recent Kenobi video, Josh, and totally agree. Has potentially has it potential to be extremely divisive, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Just want quality Star Wars. Yep, I think that's where we're at um and uh yeah hopefully it's dope hopefully it's dope man i'm still hopeful despite voicing my concerns right so thing what do you guys think about quinlan Voss if he ends up showing up in ahsoka's tv series totally random but it would be nice to see an overconfident jedi like him after order 66 and how he takes it mm. yeah very cool mm. maybe if he meets callan he's like oh another psychometrist that'd be kind of fun I can't believe we're finally here. Been waiting for so long. Glad to experience Kenobi with you boys. Much love. Dude, I know. Mr. Twizzler, I know. Feels like it's been years. It has been. <laughs> I want to see Josh and the Battle to Death. Who do you think would win? Um depends on who got no to one. the rifle first. <laughs> Boom! Hey, Super Theory, have you heard of <laughs> Wow? Inappropriate, guys. Uh, coming up on a decade later, where do you think Star Wars would be today if George hadn't sold it to Disney? It's kind of an interesting question. I don't even... I mean, you seem to think that he would have really made a lot of uh, content. Or was it at least would have made his sequels. Yeah, yeah. He was already, yeah, he had already started on the sequels. Yeah. So maybe we'd have seen that. But I don't know if we'd have the plethora of content we have now. But the problem is, like, how much of the content now is, like, really what we want. Exactly. Hey, Theory, why didn't Obi-Wan train Luke from birth? Because Uncle Owen is a pee boy. Yeah. Which they're going to explore in the Kenobi show for sure. Yo, Luke Hannah! Much love, Ooh. Hannah. Much love. Bet you're pumped, man. Yeah. Luke was Red 5, Anakin was Gold Leader, hence the line in the Clone Wars, a gold droid for Gold Leader. When he gets R3. Nice. So, I don't remember this. Anakin was gold leader. I see. Well, yeah, but in Empire Strikes Back, he was Red Five in uh, A New Hope. Yes. What would you all think about a Ferris Olin show? Who that? Hmm. Oh, dude, it's probably. Oh no. Is that a troll? Mm, I don't know. 
I can't put it together if it is. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Why aren't you going to celebration, Theory? It's better to cover at home, man. I got too much going on here right now. That's fair. But I hope you all have a fun time. Theory, I got a Ruger very similar to yours in North Carolina from 1900. I don't know how you survived Canada's cost of everything. Um, Because <laughs> you guys watch my videos. That's, that's how. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's uh, not great, man. I mean, everything here is just ridiculous. Yeah. Josh, I love the prequels, but if I were to read a description of a couple of scenes, I think, oh, this will ruin the movie, and they didn't, about the leaks. Yeah, I think that's fair, Kyle. I think that's fair. But, like, again, we're not, like, I, I know this is, like, kind of a, maybe it, maybe some of you guys don't feel me on this or whatever. Maybe, like, some of y'all disagree. But I'm not talking about the show. I'm talking about the leaks. Like, I can't make a judgment on the show until after I've seen it. But I can absolutely make a judgment on the leaks before i uh see the show and in my opinion i think there's just there's going to be some stuff that i think a lot of star wars fans have problems with so yeah boba definitely jesus y'all boycotting boba gallery 958 cool topic also why do you have to spoil small parts of brotherhood small connections my favorite parts poodoo uh i don't think it's spoiling it. i think that's advertising it yeah slim shady plus i mean i set me you know, um, I'm not boycotting the uh, Boba Gallery. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. 958, cool topic. I'll Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Josh, oh if, the leak... oh. if the leak isn't true, how about you shave that noggin of our, of yours? I think that's fair. <laughs> uh, bet or your beard. You think you can pull off that Charlie Brown look? What, what Charlie Brown look? What are you talking about? He's bald everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he was bald. No. Yo, what would it take for you to shave your eyebrows, beard, and hair? Anything? Probably like 30 grand. You'd do it for 30 grand? I'd do it for 30 grand, yeah. That's my price. <laughs> there is someone that thinking about it, dude. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Well, I could just do a, a freaking GoFundMe right now. I know, yeah, but come and on. People would donate 30 grand and I would just give you the 30 grand. Jeez. Chat, would you do that? Horrible. That'd be so horrible. Imagine, Josh, just like. <laughs> That'd be so horrible, see, dude. Hey, guys, welcome back to the video. Is, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. It's just like no I eyebrows. Like no, like, no, no, no. There's those dudes in uh, the fringe uh, uh, observers. Oh, these dude. weird, these weird dude, dudes. dudes. Oh, I could God. literally set that up right now. I would do like magic marker. I would magic marker my eyebrows back in and stuff. I'm gonna do that right now. I just want to see like. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? You just said it, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to set this up. Start a GoFundMe. <laughs> The Country fuck? Canada. <laughs> Dude, I'm doing it. Bro, you ain't getting in no 30 grand for that. And I gotta be honest, if you do, I'm gonna be disappointed in humanity. I'm gonna be a little disappointed in humanity. What describes your fundraising? Uh business? Oh community. No, God. community. Oh my uh, I'd God. say it's community. Oh my! God. But wait, what happens if you don't raise thirty grand and then and then they don't, what do they get? How do you refund? You can you refund on GoFundMe? I think no. So you probably want to do <laughs> Kickstarter so that if they don't get it, all the money. Okay, goes okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Maybe I'll you can do that with GoFundMe. I'm not sure actually. I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to take people's money if it's not going to. Uh... Holy crap! What the hell? Hmm. Kickstarter something was for eight eight million dollars. Oh my god. Dude, somebody did a Kickstarter to build the actual Death Star one time. It's insane. Okay, let's see. Yep. Um, first, let's get you set up. Select. Oh my uh, God. Let's do... This is film... Yeah, we'll do... Uh, this is film and video. Uh, what is the subcategory? Uh, <laughs> experimental. <laughs> Uh, no, this shit ain't for more. charity, bro. I know somebody saying like charity. No, fuck that. I'm taking that cash. If it goes, if my, if I have to shave all this stuff, damn straight, I'm taking all that cash. Um, 
what country? Uh, United States. Hey, what if we raise thirty grand for charity? Nope. No. Nope. Like a do like a charity stream. No. <laughs> literally want that thirty thousand dollars. Literally, fuck them kids. I won't even get the thirty thousand after Kickstarter fees, transfer fees, taxes. It won't even be thirty k. Jeez, you freaking guys. Yeah, nope. Has to shave his balls, too? All right, IG. Oh, my Jeez. God, dude. Jeez, it's getting weird. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. Again, I well, will be disappointed. Work. It didn't work. Hey, well, I'll just do this off the air sometime. Okay, well, look, I'll still be disappointed in humanity if that actually goes I feel like through. they would I feel like they would actually uh raise that man dude it, there's there were three that there were 3500 people here okay if each one donated 10 bucks that's what's more than you need <laughs> seven bucks man like a very expensive coffee save your money people save your money it's the silliest it's the silliest thing don't do it bro you don't want 30 g's of course I want 30 G's. Then but, but I don't want to shave let it happen. my head, eyebrows, and, and your eyebrows beard. And beard. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be looking like that. <laughs> It'll grow back, bro. So hell no. Nah. It'll grow back. Hell. You can't tell Lisa either. You just have to like walk out of the yeah, just walk, in yeah, a live yeah, stream. That'd be great. That'd be wonderful. On, on air. Yeah, like all the pictures, like when my son gets born or whatever, I'll just be like looking like a guy out of a horror movie or something. <laughs> like, who's that fucking guy? It's your dad, he lost but a yeah. bet. Yeah, exactly. Or rather, yeah. one thirty grand. Josh, will you shave head if Kenobi absolutely slaps? You know, this whole no. shaving head thing is started from you. I know, I know. No, I won't, but I will be super pumped. And I'll tell you this, too, because there'll be a lot of people, like, here's the thing, like, let's be real. There's a lot of people that already have their minds made up. There's a lot of people that, like, make, like, anti-Star Wars content, and they're, like, licking their lips, and they're, like, ready to go on this. They've been pouncing on it. They're so excited. I'm not that guy. And if Kenobi's awesome and yet has a leak that or has an ending that I'm not that pumped about, but it's still overall awesome, I'll go to bat for that show. I'll defend the show, and I'll defend Star Wars. So we just have to wait and see. Go wait and see. Uh, Dylan wants to fight you. Dylan? All right, cool. I'm down. Nobody else loves you. Get out of... We got out of Manoverse. Why do I keep them on Manoverse? Oh, yeah. yeah. And Multiverse, and Multiverse and Madness ago. an hour ago. And it was cinema. Absolutely loved it. Loved every single scene with Wanda, who's the spotlight for me. And can't wait to see where the MC goes. Do you think... What do you think of it if you've seen it? Also, happy 20 years of Attack of the Clones. Yeah, he hasn't seen it yet. I love the movie. I feel the same way. I think it is cinema. It's a Sam Raimi horror movie that happens in the MCU. It's crazy. Uh, super fun. So, appreciate you, Spidey. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for that. Fernie! This guy helps edit uh, some of my videos. He's awesome. Fernie says, what's up, dudes? Both of your content inspired me to be the editor I am today. To the point where I'm almost ready to leave my day job my man uh so thanks for what you do and keep up the fun combos well thank you fernie i appreciate that thanks fernie you should have been the grand inquisitor in kenobi but what would you think of jason isaac's playing thrawn and ahsoka wouldn't be, bad. be down with it he is yo if villain. that's the explanation for him not being grand inquisitor i'm actually kind of I'm down, down for it yeah, yeah that would actually be i'd be like well i was wrong about that you know hey spidey sent it again man thank you Oh, he did send it again? Send it twice, but the same amount. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. Thank Thanks, you bro. 100 bucks from Spidey Outcast. <laughs> hey, guys. Theory, today's my birthday, 19th. Happy birthday, Ethan. And I just wanted to... What? And I wanted to low-key be with no, you. No, hold on. Choose so like 17. Be with you... To S2K17. And he says his mom passed, graduated from college, and now I'm ready to finish three exam finals, less than two hours. Den of Nerds, go L2LU, and uh, thanks, Theory. 
I'm sorry, sorry about your mother, long, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't really catch much of it because some of it was still too coded, but um, did you want to play 2K17? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, what are you saying know. exactly? But there, we, but... Hey, either way, it seems like the gist of it is you like the show, and we appreciate that. So we love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much love, man. Thank you, man. Conor McGregor flatlines Palpatine in two rounds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> All right. Yep. Josh is a wild card, Charlie from It's Always Sunny. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I, 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 I feel that energy for sure. Josh, who said that? They don't even know Star Wars. Motherfucker, it was my, <laughs> it was my trivia. Square up, Josh, a hundred percent is echoed there. Love you guys, yo. That's funny, bro. <laughs> uh, you got me on that one. Oh, that's funny. I wish four inches was considered big. Yo, Mister Morty, it's okay, bud. Don't I'm we all? Sure, yeah, I'm sure you can uh, figure it out. You know what's that? They say motion in the ocean bullshit. You'll be fine, son. I got a what if for you theory. How do you think the galaxy would have ended up with Darth Bane miscalculated on the radius of the thought bomb and trapped him? <laughs> Damn. Uh, uh, well, he never would have met his apprentice, and the root of two probably would not have continued. True. True. Perhaps there would be many Sith in the galaxy, mm -hmm. and they would be like Khan's brotherhood. What is the better ending, Revenge of the Sith or Return of the Jedi? Probably Return of the Jedi. You know, some of you are so wild in chat. I just want to say I appreciate it, but sometimes I'm like, damn. Uh, beard Theory strikes again. What's up, Zach? My worthy apprentice. <laughs> Hope y'all going well. Re rate my profile pic. Nine out of ten. E Sith Ewok? That's ten out of ten. Message you the interview on Twitter. Check DMs. I actually did, man. I appreciate that. Any tips on growing a Star Wars channel? Uh, yeah, go check out my video called uh, was Four Year Anniversary, hmm. I think, on the channel. Or Three Year Anniversary. Uh, or Three Million Subs. Three Million Subs Special. I think that was it. Um, it's like an hour long. Explains a lot. Yeah. Two thirds of the way through the Plagueis novel on WoW, and WoW. Now I understand why y'all want it to be adapted. Plagueis is badass. I also love the Sith training. Yeah, Plagueis is awesome, bro. Great book. Shave your armpits too? Oh my god! Can I have some hair? Jeez. I trim my armpits. What? Yeah. Hmm. You don't? No. You just got a big tuft. <laughs> yeah, a tuft, and I smell it too. Sometimes when yeah. I'm nervous, I stick my fingers in my armpits. Like, superstar and then i take him out and i smell him like this uh we like ice cream like every child should right on captain rex <laughs> what up guys hope disney doesn't mess up kenobi like they did book of boba i don't even want to buy boba stuff anymore it just kind of ruined it for me hmm. yeah man yeah, I'm i feel sorry that. i'm tr bro i'm trying so hard like everybody thinks i'm being so toxic and shit you guys have no idea like in my mind don't like i'm going i'm going so like hard and I'm trying, man. I'm trying to just be optimistic. So we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Shave designs in your beard? What the hell? This is getting weirder and weirder. Vader still could go into Portal Emperor replaces Vader. Lol, dude. That'd be kind of fun. Who would you replace him with? Ahsoka. So he's. Is that what he's saying? No, I think he's saying Vader oh, and someone else. So. The thing, yeah. Dave and John tried hiding Luke as a spoiler in the Mando season two by leaking Plo Koon concept art. Maybe they're trying to do the same for the leaks in Obi. What do you think, Josh? No? No. Could be something entirely different from the leaks. What's up, Theory? You are the freaking goat, bro. Been watching you since 2017. Thank you, Andrew. It's very nice of you. Hey, Theory. First time Super Chat. Do you guys ever play Star Wars tabletop games, X-Wing, Legion, Armada? I've played all of those, and I do like them quite a bit. Um, but I haven't played 2.0 of X-Wing, and I've, I've really fallen away from it. But that's kind of like what I was referring to earlier, where it's like even games like that these days, like I'm playing more Marvel stuff. 
you know what I mean? Like I'm playing like hero clicks or like I'd be into like crisis protocol or like Marvel champions. Like there's all kinds of tabletop games. There is a sweet, one of the best tabletop games I've ever played though. It's called star Wars outer rim. It's a board game by fantasy flight. That game is fire. If you ever get a chance to play that incredible, incredible game. Yo, thanks cloud strife. I disagree. He's master did the same when he failed. It's very Jedi like to leave and disappear after failure. In fact, the whole order did after 66. Yeah, after order 66, not after you're about to kill your nephew in his sleep. Yeah, and plus Luke's supposed to be the best of them. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's Luke's uh, arc. You he know, he does what hopeful. no other Jedi could do. And he regroups. He gets mopey for a few months and he regroups, mm -hmm. figures it out. And so the main thing is like what like when they talked about Leia needing his help, and he's just like, eh, whatever. Like, no, dude, you help your sister. Mm -hmm. Like, what? That's not Luke. Yeah. Just finished watching Rebels. I know I'm a bit late, but I can't help but think how interesting of a character Grand Animal Thrawn is. If there's to be a game, it needs Thrawn. Yeah, I agree. Thrawn is great, and Thrawn does a great job. Uh, or they do a great job, rather, in that show with Theron. He adds a lot to the show, so I agree. Yo, thanks, man. What episode do we think Vader first appears in? Probably three? Probably a post-credit sure, scene. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say a post-credit scene in episode two. Took my cousin who was in the U.S. Army shooting yesterday. He's been asking to shoot my M1 Grand for the last three years, so it was great to finally make that happen. That's epic. Ping! Nice. Did you ever shoot a Desert Eagle 50 cal? the pistol uh no i have a uh, uh 50 cal smith and wesson magnum whoa really yeah I'm waiting for my that is... to come in that i could shoot dude that's sick yeah desert eagles are uh crazy very fun this thing very the barrel is, is literally the length of my arm my yeah arm. yeah yeah 50 cows are crazy like that as well they're like Can i show you I made a video. No, on. no, I don't think so. I'll check it out. It's like the gun that you know about the Desert Eagle, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're crazy. Super yeah, fun. this thing is. Um, also, Saber Company update. So uh, we're getting very close now to, to the release. The moment's dark empire, Luke smashes clone tanks. Yeah. That moment's cool. All the ones with Palpatine in it. Yeah. Young Palpatine, which would have been dope to see, to be honest. Yes, it would. 30k to look like the Grand Inquisitor. Okay, love you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, could you imagine point. the memes forever, you know? Only fans, the haircut, and you'd have a college fund for Liam, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. How much for How... dreads instead of shaving? Oh, God, dreads are... No, 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 no. Yo, Aries. At one point, I wanted to chat up and didn't read it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Sorry, Star Wars Logic. Sometimes we get, we like finish topic and I'll click the next one and then one of us will go let's, back to the previous let's topic. Pretend, let's pretend we know it's... what his chat was, though. Let me just. Yeah. Sorry, man. Good good point, Star Wars Logic. I like that. Echo 3 to Echo 7. Han, old buddy, do you read me? Mm, okay. I would want to see Django Cad Bane bounty hunter action. I'd want to see either, I'd want to see that, but I'd want, also want to see uh, Cad Bane teaching Boba. True. In canon or non-canon, do either the Grand Inquisitors or the other Inquisitors know that Vader was Anakin? If not, you want to see that no. in Kenobi. No. Would love to see Vader really strike fear into them. Yeah, they might know, but they're not. No, they don't. You don't think they know? They don't know. If they do know in the show, is that going to be a problem for you? Um, it's not going to be like a major problem, but it's just going to be like another thing against, uh, you, know, you know, anybody who sees Vader without his mask or anybody who knows that Vader is Anakin, he will kill them immediately on the spot without hesitation. Because hmm. that's information he does not want out. Hmm. Like he hid that so well, like he was so adamant about hiding that, that he was being attacked by clones everywhere he went because they thought he, they were like, well, what the hell is this? They thought he was a Jedi because he had a lightsaber hmm. and he just didn't tell anybody. Okay. Interesting. 
Interesting. Interesting. Oh, that's it. Nice. Oh, shit. Cool, cool, cool. That's cool, a quick cool, nerd. Cool. Three, to, three hours and 40 minutes? Yeah, I know. It didn't seem like it, but then I, looked down I, I just looked at the time and I was like, oh, shit. Okay. No way. Yeah, I thought yeah, that was yeah. like two hours and a half, maybe at most. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, wild, yeah. man. Yeah, it's a little wild. It's another like four hour one, pretty much. Jesus, I did not anticipate mm -hmm. that. That's crazy, yeah. dog. Okay, well, um, we love you guys. Um, my legs are starting to lock up, and I might go stream COD. I don't know. Okay, man, you should probably rest and uh, yeah, put some ice, well, put some no, ice packs I, on your. I might hips. put to. No, that's not the issue. No, the just issue do it though. It'd be kind of locked up. Yeah. No, if I can get that lazy boy up here, I'll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be very cool that would be super exciting yeah yeah i think i'm gonna do it man i think it'll be really healthy i think it'll be really good for me because hmm. my, my posture is just absolutely my body's never been this effed before so hmm. yeah, yeah yeah seen ice cube on the kenobi cast thoughts uh yeah 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 i can't i can't divulge what he does in the show but it's gonna be very cool oh you know Mm -hmm. mm. How customizable will your sabers be? Like, if I wanted a double hilt, like a black mag light flashlight with a purple blade, uh, the sound will be customizable to hell. It'll be a higher quality than NeoPixel. So I'm using a the the newest and highest quality board, but also the, it's it's very easy to um, put fonts on there and change things up and program. You guys kill it every Monday. Thanks for biting me with background noise. Hey, thanks. Thanks, man. B Chu 24 underscore seven. Thanks, bro. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for the fiber. We appreciate it. <clears throat> the fuck was that? I don't know. What are you talking about? I can't watch anymore. Well, uh, I guess we shall end the stream. This is the last nerd theory before the last nerd theory. Yeah, second to the last one before, before Kenobi. Kenobi. So next it's, week will be the last one before Kenobi, and then uh, and then we're in it. We're in the wake, and then we're in it, baby. We're in the wake of the. We're in wave. the end game now. In the wave, we gotta surf it. Look, Mister Boner, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm trying over here, Mister Boner. And you're sounding like a separatist. All right. Well, we love you guys. We'll catch you later. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for the soupies. Thanks for uh, giving me the idea to make that kickstarter about uh josh shaving his whole face and now i wish i went head. higher dude went 30 higher. grand I, are you kidding me that's so much money yeah that's like 40 but... something grand canadian that is no. insane that's like someone's yearly income yes but i wish just that to it... shave your f hair yes but i wish that i had put it out of reach because that with a group is reachable and that's kind of scary yeah with my uh with with my audience yeah <laughs> yeah dude like i should have went i should have went big bro with my boys it's, it's if we actually hit that and you get the thirty thousand dollars then would you do it yeah of course i'm a man of my word <laughs> so fucking i think the easiest dude. way i think the easiest way would be for me to pay you and then me just do the crowdfund for myself yeah God, that would be so stupid. <laughs> that would just be so stupid, dude. Like, oh my god. <laughs> and I'm talking like not just shit. Like you, you shave that with like a, a a buzzer, like clippers. But then also like I want like the razor. I want like nothing. I want like a full 24 hours of like zero stubble. And you'll just be like, you'll be Caillou. Yeah, I'll be something, I'll tell you. Den of Caillou. Jeez. And you'll just wear like a hat and, you know. Yeah, I will for a, a long time. Den yeah. of Cap, for sure, for real. Yeah, and a, and we're going no face cam. That's, that's what'll happen. <laughs> no, you have to. No, that wasn't in the... That was doing part of our way. <laughs> well, then we're not doing it. Then we're not doing it. You know, you don't have to do it. <laughs> well, you know, 30 Gs, man. I mean, look, it's going to... Bro, if someone be... gave me 30 Gs to like do something superficial like that, I would do it. 
It grows back. Who cares? If someone gave me 20 grand to shave my eyebrows, I'd do it. No, maybe not 20. <laughs> right? Then you start to think about it. You start to think about what you'd look like. Well, like I don't know. That, take, that takes like six months. It's like six months of my life. I'm going to look like a oh freak. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's exactly what I'm saying. But at least I look dope. Maybe I'll look like kind of cool, real edgy. Oh, yeah, you look real edgy, bro. I could like paint them in like Uncle Leo. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. This is what I get for saying I fight everybody. This is my karma. Yo, Darth Darth Shibby says, uh, I shaved my eyebrows, half my eyebrows for a dare. You're wild. Homie, don't play that. Homie, don't play that. I should have just never answered Bro, that. you're already engaged. You got a kid coming along. Like you're, you're okay. You can you can you can click whatever you want. I'll be like at the gym. My father's come up to me and be like, I'm praying for your recovery. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh like, God, I'm dude. just saying, like, that's what's gonna happen. God forbid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, well, well, we'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. Um, let's do, let's do a 50 grand deal. We'll do 50 grand. You, sh you shave your beard and your eyebrows and your hair and I'll shave my eyebrows. Okay. And we'll split it. Okay. Well, you get your 30, I get my 20. Sweet. Can't wait. And I'll give my proceeds to charity. Oh yeah, just to really, <laughs> just to really make me look like a dickhole. Yeah, awesome. Uh, all right, you know Chad, we love do, you guys. You know what I'll do, I'll take the what? money and I'll make like fake hair out of dollar bills. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Your hair will grow back. Mine won't. At least not yet. Yeah. Maybe in ten years. I'll take a trip to Japan. Okay, chat. We love you guys. Thanks for chilling with us. We'll catch you next week. Leave a like on the video. Go follow Josh at the Den of Nerds and uh, me on my gaming channel, Theories Arcade. And uh, buy my merch. Yeah, it's pinned. The pin is pinned, literally. See you guys in tomorrow's video. We love you. And... You're sounding like a separatist.